Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. And you suck at this game. Yes. Oh, what's know, happening? Why is that here? Mm, this oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Great, then that one again. <laughs> answer my question. Zoomies! Flapping of feathers. <laughs> In season two, chapter 29, The Thought That Counts. <laughs> we had a difficult time prying ourselves out of bed after a comfortable night's sleep in Kukati Cove. But with people to meet and oaths to fulfill, we knew we couldn't afford to linger. Our first stops were to the residences of Ms. Spooner and Mr. Cheeks, who were both holding items that we wanted for our trip east. <laughs> Though we hit a snag at the smithy when Cody rebuked us for our treatment of a fellow citizen the day prior. Phaedra wasn't holding any grudges, but if we wanted to get our hands on Saphira's newly enhanced longbow, we'd have to pony up an additional 200 gold, instead of providing the Peridot as collateral. It cost us the ability to purchase a couple extra potions, but the issue was eventually sorted out, and after exhausting our resources in the Ropra Mountains, it felt good to have full backpacks once more. Before heading over to the hitching posts, we were also approached by a man named Emmett Nesbitt, who had a collection of contracts that he called his Worth It Shit List. <laughs> there wasn't any direct payment for completing these tasks, but each one promised various rewards that were there for the taking if we were up to the challenge. Potentially a worthwhile sidetrack if we found ourselves passing by these landmarks on our way through the peninsula. Loaded up on supplies and objectives, we tacked our horses and gave one last look back at the bay before riding out. And thus began the last leg of travel before crossing the isthmus and digging into the mysteries of Finlock Forest. As soon as we'd left civilization behind, Graven felt the familiar warmth of radiant light, manifesting in both visions and verbalizations. He saw his half-orc counterpart branding a slain enemy with Kauzni's symbol. And though he couldn't discern the exact location of the other cleric, Graven learned that such displays of fealty were available to him as well, if he desired blessings to aid in his journey. After that, there was a prolonged period of peaceful progress through the woods that mirrored the coastline. For the most part, the limitations of the terrain chose our path for us, and after moving up onto a walkway that crossed over several small lakes, we saw our first unwelcome signs of intelligence since leaving Kukati. Oh. We'd soon come to learn that our castaway from Hylata Harbor had been captured again shortly after his release, prompting some bandits to set up an ambush along the road. Their leader clearly had some proficiency in magic, but there was no chance we were going to give up our belongings that easily. So despite our disadvantaged position, we chose to go on the offensive. <laughs> the slightest hint of aggression on our part was swiftly answered by powerful lightning bolts that not only knocked Orba out, it instantly killed three of our horses and created a pileup on the bridge. 
While Saphira and Erland kept the mage's attention, Graven brought Orba to her feet and defended against the additional reinforcements. Not simply a pack of common cut purses, these foes were well armored, and their archers had the high ground, forcing us to use spells like Mirror Image and Hold Person to swing the battle in our favor. After downing the leader and tossing a foot soldier into the lake <laughs> below, the bandits began to cut their losses and flee. But the burns on our skin and the horses on the ground were a stark reminder that this expedition was not likely to be a forgiving one. There was, however, a bit of good news to go with our otherwise Pyrrhic victory. The mage had in his possession a letter that alluded to a secret cache, and we followed the clues to a cave with an unusual added layer of security. A puzzle requiring us to place tiles in a specific order without speaking would have been easier with some kind of thought detection magic, <laughs> but instead we were forced to do it the old-fashioned way, which had a rocky start, but ultimately resulted in an impressive, if surprising, success. Apparently, we weren't the first targets for this particular gang, because behind the sealed door was a sizable trove of valuables and equipment. And feeling no remorse for taking that which had already been stolen, we filled our pockets and asked ourselves. <laughs> had the bandits learned a lesson about attacking such a capable group of adventurers? The next time we have a captive foe, would they be the ones to suffer the consequences of the sailor that hung us out to dry? And when, during his childhood, had Graven heard the uns, uns, uns of techno music <laughs> that later became his frame of reference for counting down beats. Where indeed? Classic, Is classic it? Graven hit. We will find out now on season two, chapter 30 of A Peak Beneath the Bed. <laughs> Gathering the ample spoils from this roomy supply closet, take some of the sting out of the ambush you endured no more than an hour ago. And one need only look to the dull inlaid glyphs on the interior portion of the door to see that one false step could have made your day a whole lot worse. Oh God. <laughs> it's unlikely that the unfortunate demise of your horses will slow you down significantly over long distances, especially given the unpredictability of the terrain moving forward. But beyond an emotional attachment, it may force you to make difficult decisions about what to haul along in your bags as you stock up for the unknown wilds that await you. When you're done sifting through the piles of junk to pick out the items of value, you take one more breath of stale air here in this cave and give a last look around to make sure that you haven't missed anything, another compartment or a trinket that seemed mundane at a first glance. So you can see most of you are kind of rummaging through the sort of piles of things here that were just inside that stone door that swung open, but otherwise just sort of giving a little glance around this relatively small interior of this cave. So you have a moment here as you've just kind of picked up what you thought was worthwhile. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Well done. I wish. Yeah, I'm right shocked we made it through that, to be honest. I was a bit worried. I saw you kind of. I don't know, there was like some burst of energy or something that it happened? It was him that reacted to the. Burst no, of I, energy. Uh, I reacted to it too. I thought we all reacted to it. I, you looked the most perturbed. I, I would say you all like felt, felt it. it. <laughs> it's just he was unable to Ooh. suppress it. <laughs> <laughs> He's very old. He's like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, but you all felt the energy, like, sort of course. Can't get those kicks in the brain like I used to. So. I'm, I'm fine. What did we, what did we get from this exactly? Do we know what that thing is? Oh, I don't know exactly. I'll need some time to probably, you know, investigate it a little bit. Can I like hold up the bag that we got and like kind of put it above my head as though to like see if I can see into it more or something? It just, as far as you could tell, looks like a mundane bag. I mean, it's pretty well crafted and there was something just about the stitching is quite like intricate. It just had an air of, about it that there was something more to it that okay. you guys could like tell there was maybe something magical about it though it's hard to tell why. Can but I it doesn't. It's also surrounded by a bunch of magic shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I like put my hand on it? You watch. can. You feel the bottom of the bag. It's just oh, the fine I can leather feel at the, the bottom. bottom of you can feel <laughs> the bottom of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I was hoping that when I stuck my hand in there, it would just keep going. Well, what was inside it? A few empty bottles. Yeah, just Two a couple of vials. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll, it, it's a good safe keeper of bottles. Maybe there's a word that you need of... to say to activate it or something. We should perhaps discuss Spend what time all this is later. 
afterwards. We yeah. we don't know how close they are. We don't know if they're getting reinforcements. We should move quickly. Yeah, I, I do say whatever we don't take for ourselves, we fucking get rid of it elsewhere. Oh yes, we I, take everything. Yeah, I don't want them to have anything. Are we following the crabs back to the path, or are we taking a new route? Uh, Is there a discernible like path that we get from this cave area, like? I know, like, we follow trees and shit to get here, but, like, is there now trees and shit? Trees and shit. Is there, like, a path now that You'd we You'd be can... guessing at a trajectory kind of back to the path that you were on, and it was a pretty loose path to be. We should probably head back to the path we're familiar with and stick to the coast. All right. If yeah. they were headed, if they were headed west to the, back to the, you know, We have some time. It takes, yes. it takes some time to get to the boat and then back. Right, okay. Um... Grab everything sort of sort out what we need and that we don't need when we make rest for the evening. Mm. Okay. Okay. Shall we head out then? Yes. Perception checks for everybody. Mm. Shit, Matthew. Does that count? If we just say As shit? As a perception check? Yes. yes. <laughs> 14. You suck at this game. Yes, natural one. <laughs> 18. Sophia's looking into the bag. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's a regular bag. <laughs> Damn! 20. Oh. No fair. What was it? 18. <laughs> so as you guys kind of gather a few of the things, you know, again, recapping just some of those, there were some vials, some rings, a couple sort of pouches of small gemstones, the couple things that you might think are magic items, a couple potions, a little bit of clinking and sort of things as people put stuff into their bags. But at a moment of quiet where it sort of shoulder one of your bags and you turn toward the entrance, Graven and Orva kind of both motion toward the exit of this cave at the same time and you pick up on just kind of a quiet rustling that at first would sound like, like you've heard that sound before as you've gone through, you're just like wind blowing through rustling leaves. But for some reason, as you're look, now that you're looking out the entrance of the cave, you don't see any like consistent waving of the leaves or anything in the branches. It sounds like something kind of from inside the cave. You are inside the cave. So we hear it from outside. You hear it coming outside, yeah. There might be something out there. There's definitely something out there. Okay, who wants to poke their head out first? Hang on, before anyone pokes their head out. Uh, (sighs) quickly. Can I uh, take a second to use primeval awareness? Uh, How long does that take? It just takes a minute. It says for one minute per level of the spell slot you expand, which is just a level one. So mm-hmm. uh, you can sense whether the following types of creatures are present within one mile of you or up to six miles uh, in your favorite terrain aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Okay. And it's within a mile? It's within a mile. Okay. Uh, yes. You sort of take a moment there while Sevira Sof- while tries to like kind of concentrate. You. Uh send out that awareness and try and sort of sense the presence of these unnatural beings, you do pick up on some. Okay. But it, it's, the woods here are big. Like okay. a mile okay. would get pretty close down toward the coast, okay. like into the woods, like something of that nature is out there. Hard to tell exactly. It doesn't give you. Doesn't, doesn't give you location or numbers. Yeah, or how close nope. or nothing. Does it tell you which of the things are there? Nope. That senses their presence. You know. I don't like this spell so much, <laughs> and I don't want to use it again. Uh, there's definitely something out there. Well, of course there's something out there. Fuck off, mate. I'm Shh. trying. Okay, I, there is something out there, oh, okay. and I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something oh, nasty, okay. so we should be prepared to fight. It is not definitely something nasty. Uh, it, and actually, can it, somebody it is. I'm gonna stick my fucking, oh. I'm gonna stick my head out. Okay. Because if anything shoots, I will be the one most okay. apt to be do it. Be careful, we know what you said. All right. I'm gonna like. There's those vines that are yeah, like hanging down. Not, you... not in the center. I want to go to like <clears throat> the side. Sure, you may do. And like, push just a couple of those, <laughs> like a little curtain, kind of pushing it aside and sticking your head out as best you can. I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw with Stop! advantage. Stop! Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Twenty four. Twenty four. The moment 30, you kind of the, the moment you kind of just peek your head out, as if something was literally waiting for any sign of these vines to move, you see something moving through the air, and your first instinct is just sort of reach up and catch it. But as it's moving through, you see it's sort of circular, black and round. And before it even gets to you, you hear it kind of blast, 
and you cover yourself enough that some of these streaks of sort of shrapnel and flame God just kind of it. trickle across the ground. And for a moment, you think that you just sort of reacted quick enough, but you also realize that it hit the ground a decent ways away from the entrance of this cave. Almost like they maybe didn't even try to throw it all the way to the cave. So you hear that kind of sound. But it was close enough to the cave and the trajectory of it was such that it seemed intentionally at the cave, not like yeah, nearby. When you poked your head out, it almost looked like it was okay, coming cool, right cool, towards cool, you cool, and cool. you ducked back, but then the explosion wasn't like right at your feet. It was like mm -hmm. 10, 15 feet, okay. you know, even All further. Right. So that, it's, and everyone can hear that. As soon as that happens, I'm gonna heal myself. Sure, go ahead and do so. Um, I'm gonna, uh, uh, if it seems like it's coming up short, I'm immediately gonna put my hands up. Okay. And um, step out from the cave. And to the side, so that if they were to throw something else, it wouldn't hit them in the cave. Okay, with your hands. With my hands up there. Okay. All right, all right. Wally. We're just passing through. Give me a perception check as you step fully. While he's doing there. this, I'm gonna take a healing potion. Okay. Twenty-two. Yeah, trying to give them time sure. to. Yeah. What is, Twenty-two. What is the healing potion? Go ahead and finish your heals. Two d four plus two for, for a two. standard healing potion. I'm gonna look at you. Order, do you need heal? I'm okay for now. Great, so with Erlen buying them a little bit of time, steps out with his kind of hands up, and with that perception check, you spot a couple of things on the ridge. First of all, you spot what someone has another bomb in their hand, sort of in that kind of black robe-ish outfit that you saw some of those other guys with a black robe over some armored, and he's got kind of the bomb up in the air. There's another one who is sitting there with a crossbow, maybe just like five, 10 feet off to his right. And then as you look over to your left, you see another kind of rustling of leaves, and you tilt your head back and you see what looks like dripping wet armor of possibly the one that fell into the lake and then kind of swam oh away my God. and now kind of tracked you to this point. So a few people that you see around on the ridge. In addition to that, you hear a couple of animalistic noises. You hear kind of different creatures, but they're all kind of happening at the same time that it all kind of melds together. You hear kind of a little bleat. Okay. And a goat? No. Wait. And a. What? It's a fucking bleat. And a roar. Quiet. Quiet. And a hiss. All three of those sounds kind of in sync back and forth. <laughs> Flitting back and forth. Anthony, what's happening? Do I hear you to give me a constitution save? Anthony, what's know? happening? Why is that here? Why is Anthony, it here? What? Where? What? Um, everyone, chill. Sixteen. Sixteen. What? It, some of those noises get a little bit louder, and Graven, who had just finished kind of healing himself, talking to Orba, suddenly there's like a, just a rising divine fury, sort of in the pit of your stomach that just comes up into your chest, and it heats sort of your chest and your ribs in a way. And for a moment, you almost can't even stop yourself from like walking toward the entrance of the cave. <laughs> and then you sort of suppress that as fast and as hard as you can to keep yourself from furthering out. I need you to give me an insight check. Is, what the fuck is Can I tell if this is some kind of ruse or does this feel real? 24. 24. As those animalistic noises continue, where are they coming from? So sorry. It's kind of around. It's a little hard to tell. Like I see the people. Yes, yes. It definitely doesn't look like one of those people is making any noise or like holding any of them. Nope. Like Other than the bomb it. that you can yeah, see, yeah. not holding any devices of any kind. Okay. As you're listening, and you've never gone toe to toe with one yourself, but you would expect there to be noises of like footsteps or an, or like wing flaps. You know, look that sort of and you don't hear any of those. And it's either something's lying kind of very still in wait or just something seems off about it. And it's coming like from everywhere, <clears throat> meaning it's, it's either- from everywhere. It's is. coming from the woods and you just can't I see. pinpoint okay, exactly. It's far enough it's away that it's not yeah, like- It doesn't sound there. like it, no. Okay, it's, great, it's not great, immediately great, great, great. visible, but you can't tell exactly Do where it is. Do we all hear it? Um, we'll say the noises kind of came and went and you heard a little some of those noises off in the distance. <sighs> Consider that a warning shot. We require your surrender, and we brought sufficient backup. All right, all right. We just went in the cave, and it seems like it, it, it seems like it's locked. It's just a table. We guessed wrong. 
Your friend knows we're dangerous. We'll leave. Motions to the guy next to him who reaches kind of into a sack and he takes out a bunch of like chains and he hands them to the first guy. You're going to toss manacles down and you lock yourselves in one by one, carrying no weapons and with no knapsacks on your backs. If more than one of you leaves the cave at the same time, or if you have any weapons in hand, you'll become food for our pets. <laughs> and he, some manacles land five, five, ten feet from you as he tosses them down. Where are you taking us? Not taking you anywhere. We're gonna take you away from here, recover our things from the cache so we can move it elsewhere, take your things so you don't come after us, and then let you go. There were things in there? Yes. Where? Not a conversation I'm about to have. All right. I'm going to slowly start stepping forward. Do you hear that sound? The creature? Yes. It's One yours. Of our pets. You see, the problem with chimeras is they make quite a bit of other noise. Are you a chimera expert, are you? I fought some in my day, yes. And? And it sounds like you're pretending to have a chimera. If you don't put those manacles on I'm, right now, you're about to find out. I'm walking to. Is he holding the bomb? Is this guy holding the bomb? Yes, and he's like, it, with his other hand, you can clearly see that he's like, has like a flint and steel, like that he's ready to strike the fuse if he needs to. How many are there, Erland? Could I hear Graven say that? Sure. Okay. You're not far from All me. right. I'm sort of yelling to the guy. In the mouth of the cave. All right. I'm stepping forward. I see it is you, your friend next to you. And the one that we almost killed on the left. I know you only have three, and I know you're faking the chimera. I'm bending down to put on the manacles now. Oh, we All right. How far away do these voices sound? Um, so they sound maybe like I remember uh, in last episode. Yeah. You guys like went down a little ridge where Erlen kind of slid down, and everyone else made a bunch of noise. So <laughs> it sounds like they might be kind of up on that ridge, which might be. 50, 60 feet away, maybe a little further than that. It's a little okay. hard to tell exactly, okay. but they're like at that little ridge before you went down and came to this little cave down. Okay. That's what it sounds like. Stop, stop, stop. If one of them's holding a bomb, I could run out and hold him to explode in his hands. That's Put him on. That's not a bad idea. Do All right. Do it now. Range? All right. All right. 60 feet. And I'm going to okay. slowly get so ready to I'm moving. the others as soon as he puts I'm the ready. manacles on. I'm moving slowly so I don't make any sudden moves. Is that all right with you? Do it. Yes, very slowly. Once he, if, if putting I, my hands on, the, I'm like yeah. walking. Yeah. Putting my hands. I'm gonna on the manacles. Now. Starting deep in the cave, I'm gonna start sprinting so that as soon as I get within 60 feet of somebody holding a bomb, I'm gonna attempt to hold person on. Okay. So as Erlin starts to bend down, Graven pushes through the vines and bursts through. I need everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> or is holding slow. Also, if she can. You cannot okay. hold. You. Um, uh, where were you holding it for? I, I would imagine we were listening right behind the vines, but okay. I, I, I mean, you can't see them. You okay. can't see where they are. Um, if you want to like literally guess a distance, I'll let you, but if you want to use a level two, like you need to be like, I will cast slow 50 feet from the entrance, straight forward from the entrance. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you can't target anyone because you can't see them. So you, you're guessing, but I will let you guess. No, I won't guess. Okay. All right. Initiative, everybody. Fuck. What do you have? Okay. Oh, different flavor. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Thank God they were faking that chimera. We. I mean. But how do they know that we want a chimera? They might. I don't think they know that. That's, that's just, just a, a nasty, fucking 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 yes. Yes. A nasty beast. nasty yeah. beast. Yeah. What? All right. Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's uh, have we done? An, everybody done In initiative? D and D. I have not. Yeah. That do I get a surprise? surprise. No. So, to clarify, we've had some things with surprise before. Yeah. If something's like w facing right. off, waiting yeah. to, that, that, that'll never be a surprise. Yes. I'll say that you can, you get like a little bit of movement out of the cave before that starts, but that, that's not a held or like a, that's not I a surprise. I have to use my inspiration immediately. Um, well, yeah, you have inspiration too, bro. You got inspiration? Yeah, yeah from Kuzni's. Oh, Kuzney you got West. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, was I have inspiration. I, right. I noticed okay. you didn't react to that one. <laughs> I was, um, I think I was doing math. I'm gonna use my inspiration on my initiative roll. Can I do that? You can, I, yeah. Any can you roll? I wow. Can, I mean, I'll allow it even if it's I, I rolled so bad. Oh. I need to get this whole person uh, yeah, 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 20 to 25. Okay. Let's see. 
God damn it. Worse? Uh, 20 is Archer. Fuck. Okay. Uh, 15 to 19. Uh, Orba had a 17. Uh, four, uh, 10 to 14. 11. Uh, 10 is the, uh, the guy who's holding the bomb. Oh, okay, good. Convoy. Or whatever. Yeah. Okay, uh, 5 to 9. 6. 9. 9 is also with a oh, zero dexterity. Okay, no, it's okay. So, so Sephira, and then 9 is the, say, foot soldier. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And he's still hurt, right? Like, he looks hurt? Yes. I mean, this, that was not that long ago. I mean, it's possible he took, like, a healing potion. That's what I mean. I was like, does it seem like he was magically healed yeah. from when I saw him, or is he still, like, bleeding um, from the places that was It's definitely not, like, he doesn't look as hurt as when you last left him, but he still looks like he's got some burn, scrapes and bruises. Right. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. It sucks. Bad. Uh, okay, so I think I got everybody. Uh, Archer, Orba, Erland, Bomb Boy, uh, Sephira, Foot Soldier, Graven. Not everybody right. seeing that? With inspiration, I'm in the last place. Oh, that is <laughs> I, 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 I can't. Okay, so here is the cave that you were guys in. Oh, you have your monitors up. Throw that on. Spread O for bomb, yeah. yeah. Good call. Fuck. So Erlen was already out there. And I believe I said I moved to the side because I wanted to pull attention away. Uh, sure. Uh, side. And then uh, Graven I mean, was like right behind him, because we'll say you got some distance from the cave. Fucking bomb is gonna. And Vera and Orm are just inside the cave here. And it's regular, it's not Reaper Orb, right? Yeah. Correct, Reaper. Regular Orb. Okay. So here's the ridge kind of up here. So it's a little further than I thought it was. Yeah, 100. Nope. You would have gotten it anyway, buddy. If I run. Um, so here is the guy, this guy with the yellow robe here is the one that was holding the bomb. He had a little archer next to him. And then you saw off to the side, this was like the wounded soldier from before. Right. Okay. So those are the three people that you can see immediately in your vicinity. So in my holding this hold, he's not close enough, it, but I spend that spell slot. No, because the, you, we didn't, we didn't, you didn't like get a surprise. You were never in a position where you could have cast it, right? What's the range on hold person? 60. That's the thing is, you can't cast it if it's literally impossible to okay. cast it. So you have not used that spell so Okay, that is good news. Yeah, that's only 60. You're fine, bomb boys. Four. Okay. I'm last, and he's gonna get us with I have an idea. I hope so. Uh, did you want to not be so close to Erland? We can say that. I mean, if I knew that there was a bomb, yeah, okay. I'll we'll spread out from him, yeah, like, to, like, to give him to give him multiple targets. Yeah, sure. that's fine. Okay, great. We haven't even had a short rest, you guys. Nope. This sucks. Yeah, it does. All right, who we got <laughs> first here? Oh uh, it is the foot. No, the archer. Sorry. Okay, first thing, as soon as he sees Graven coming out, he already had his crossbow cocked and loaded. <laughs> Fires a bolt out Graven? there. Fuck. 19 to hit. That'll hit. Fuck. And little glint in the eye when he uses archers. Die again, man. Uh, uh, 11 piercing damage. <laughs> As the bolt goes out and he immediately t t t starts to reload. As he does, he's going to use a bonus action here. Reaches under his collar, pulls out a little whistle that he blows out yeah. and that noises of <laughs> stops <laughs> and it turns back to uh, a noise that uh, now oh, sounds dog. more like a, a, a real creature. Yeah. Sephira and Graven both give me uh, nature checks. 13. 13. Why couldn't um, I rule it away in nature? Dirty 20. <laughs> okay, your both of you uh, I don't think she's proficient in nature. It has to be I'm so, not. It doubles it proficiency. Does. So, yes. Um, you're, as you guys listen, and those noises of another creature turn to a kind of panting, something sort of clicks in your brain. And these are probably the what are fucking. called lucratas, which are they sort of. Shifting dogs? Uh, sort of, they're they're kind of a hybrid beast with like cloven hooves, like almost like moose legs, and a big kind of <laughs> gnarled badger, sort of bloated badger face, and these sort of drooping snout like a mastiff, patchy matted fur. And when it opens its mouth, you re recall from having seen them or read about them, they have this 
extremely complex musculature in their throat, they can mimic the calls of cool. other oh, creatures. Cool. Okay. So trained versions of these can be trained to like mimic the calls of more of scarier creatures. Very they cool. use that frequently as like a survival tactic. Oh, they cool. they mimic sort of more powerful creatures. Do they So they mimic the ghosts? Like are they a They mimicked a they mimicked a goat lion and Oh, and so each one was imitating a chimera, which is why it sounds or like Or alternating yes, I see, I see, that I see, they were attempting to replicate a chimera's sort of general call. Are they vicious? Like do they attack and bite and Yes. Yeah. Yes they do. Um, it's, it sounds like it's one? How, can we tell how many? Um, I'll say, so if you're with that, we'll combine the two of yours, we'll say it sounds like two of them. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll for initiative. Uh, that is a 14 on the loot box. Alright, they're after Orba. Okay. And let's bring into the fray yeah, some of these. Ooh. Uh, go. Ooh. I don't think these are exactly Lucratas, but it sort of approximates. Oh, they, they, they have hooves for feet, dog. not like paws, <laughs> like this creature does. An armadillo like dog. A, yeah. No, it looks like when the Sims pets glitch. <laughs> <laughs> they get stuck <laughs> in the There was another one that was on the other side. I get close to his little... All right. Okay, so uh, Archer fired, he used his archer's eye, and he is going to back up just so he can kind of get out of sight here from the low ground. And that's his turn. Who's next? Uh, it's Orba. All right, Orba. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, so how far am I from like the nearest target at the moment? Um, definitely over 100 feet, like probably 120 feet. Okay. Um, let me get this thing back up. Like 130 feet to the okay, guy holding I, the bomb, and I, also... Oh, sorry, this guy's like, yeah, 140 feet, yep. Okay, can I see the kind of elevation from Orba's perspective that these guys have? Um, yeah, it, that's not quite as like sheer a rock face as it looks. It's kind of like a steep, rocky slope because you guys slid down that on your way here. But then he's kind of standing on the highest portion of this kind of rocky slope. Is any of that then like difficult terrain or like climbing? Like... It would be difficult terrain slash climbing. Like you, you'd kind of be, you're not climbing vertically, but you're kind of like, you'd have to use your hands and legs to sort of pull yourself up. All right, cool. So I think the best way to start this off here is Orba. Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, I, correct me if I'm doing this the right order. There's a thing up there, too. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I think the first thing that Orba's gonna do is she's going to um, take her hands and like press them across her shoulders and slide on them and then and she's gonna cast Blink on herself. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Oh, so, we have that? Go ahead and read that for uh, It's people. It's a chunky text and I don't know how, to, how it works yet. Uh, roll a d20 at the end of each of your turns for the rate, duration of the spell, one minute. On a roll of 11 or higher, you vanish from the current plane of existence and appear in the ethereal plane, blah, 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 blah. At the start of your next turn, when the spell ends, if you are on the ethereal plane, you return to an unoccupied space of your choice within 10 feet of the space you vanished from. This is the spell that the yeah, yeah. had at So Costas. at the end of her turn, basically, there's a chance that she can kind of make herself disappear and then reappear so she can't be targetable during that time. So um, at the end of my turn, so yes, I can so, still move yep. 30 feet. Yep. So I think what I want to do is, is there like cover with trees on either side here that's nearby? Uh, on I which exit side? I and go immediately like left. Like over here? Uh, sorry, to or left. Or left. <laughs> I mean, there's some trees up on this little hill here. Uh, you'd have to kind of climb up. Yeah, yeah, I mean in here, or there's like a tree here. Okay, if, if I run 30 those are more feet 30 to, the, to Orba's left. Okay. That gets you like sort of just to the mouth. Just uh, the area. Okay, just so I know the distance, can I like blink into that bush? That's to, <laughs> that's to the left, or is that too far? Ten feet? Yeah, we'll say that's close enough. Okay, cool. Um, Orb is gonna go there, and that's it's not be... the bush isn't great cover, but it's not no cover. Okay. Um, yeah, Orb is gonna end her turn. Okay. <laughs> go okay. ahead and roll. On a roll of eleven or higher. <laughs> oh, that's not shit. Fifteen. Hey. Nice. So and. <laughs> Orbit disappears. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's fucking cool. Fuck yes. Does she go under reaper form? <laughs> so so uh, I understand this correctly. Like, if a bomb is thrown right where Orba was last seen, 
You're that fine. doesn't hurt her. She's gone. It has to be something that can affect the ethereal plane as well. So uh, oh typically God. a physical object Shit. would not do that. Fuck yes! yes. Okay, so glad that worked. All right, that's my turn. Um, okay. Say hi to Nathan while you're in the ethereal plane. I will. Plane. I will ride it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. It's the uh, bomb. Or no, sorry, the lucrata. The lucrata. Okay, great. So they immediately upon hearing the whistle of their master jump? are going to come on down. Sure, you just gotta take some damage in the jumps. Um, <laughs> you don't. Surely. They're, 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 they're fucking, they're not me. They you know how long I trained to learn that? They're dexterous. They're like they kitty cats. They just have little ooh, it's uh, fucking they're animals. They're, they're going to make acrobatics. Also, it's not just them. They can a leap from the ridge safe. You ever seen a dog fall from a height? One of them got a natural one, and one of them succeeded oh. easily. One of them we hear. So oh. this one <laughs> comes down, and another 25 takes it there, and it's going to dash. Another 50. Oh! Right. 50. And then this one is leaps from the ridge, and just a little bit of the loose rock, it loses oh. its balance. <laughs> oh, it breaks its own neck and dies. It doesn't. It's oh, gonna buddy. take one d six damage. It's gonna just one blood. Oh. Oh. It's hurt already. Um, but then it also is hey. going to fall prone. Nice. Uh, I love that. The poor landing there. Oh, but nice. Uh, Look at him. Now he really looks like a glitch. Oh, so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> No, the ah. text, it's forsaken me again. Oh my god. Damage one. Nope. Is it just because it's lying over and it's no. like at the top of it, so it's in the ground? I tried that already. Do I have to add like an Stand underscore? Stand him up. Oh, weird. <laughs> what the hell? It never quite. Can you text. write one damage prone? One damage. Nope. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll just have to, you'll just have to remember. There's gotta be yeah. some mod that's. that's I know. It, well, that one used to. Okay. So that one has a little bit of damage. Oh, let me knock it prone again, and it's prone on the ground. And it is going to dash, so it's going to take half to get up and then move 25 feet. Eat it. Eat it. Great. So you can see the quickness of these creatures that immediately. Sucks. The one that leaped from the ridge and landed clean comes at this gallop. You can hear those moose-like hooves <laughs> moving across, kicking up some of the loose grass and dirt. OK. That is the Lucrata. How are you looking, Grant? How are you doing? Like poorly? I mean, like not good? Who's next? Oh, sorry, it's Rolando. Um, okay. How far away from the uh, nearby Lucrata am I? You are 35 feet. We love that. Uh, I'm going to run up to it and engage it in combat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge it formally to a duel. <laughs> you, sir, I will throw down the hat. Uh, I'm going to hit it with an Unchaku in the face. For sure. Like 100% sure I'm going to hit it uh, with an Unchaku in the back. 13 to hit? That will miss. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Next attack. 26 to hit. Oh, 26 okay. will hit. Oh my god. <laughs> and then we're running. <laughs> um, I do 9 bludgeoning damage. Nine bludgeoning damage that may or may not appear. It does. <laughs> you, you got you this. Yeah, I mean, it still yeah. tracks it. It just doesn't stay. Oh. Like if oh, I go back to it. Yeah, it's just not visible. Oh. Yeah. I can still track with oh, it. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. And a little more realistic. Can't tell exactly. Yeah. Like, that guy looks 23 hit points yeah. worth yeah. of hurt. Um, I use 10 feet of movement, right? Uh, you use 30. 35 feet. Sorry, I have 10 feet left. <laughs> uh, 30, 30 to oh. get up to him. 30, okay. Um, constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Um, 11? Fucking fails. Yes! yes it's done. Okay. <laughs> So immediately, those bombs. <laughs> after creating the impact there, and you see its hair kind of stand up on edge there. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, yep, I'm gonna use my bonus action as Flurry of Blows here. You may do so. Which I believe gives me advantage. It does, yep. Need it. Needed it. Um, <laughs> big time. Uh, oh my God. 21 to hit. I think that hits, and is this the automatic crit as well? It's well, like, stunt. Uh, Poke him right in the eye hole. No, that's paralyzed. Oh. Yeah, okay, so it does have advantage, but not automatic crit. So this is, sorry, um, dirty 20 to hit. It hit, yes. Okay. I'm plus six. Uh, seven bludgeoning damage. And, um, Dexterity saving throw to knock it prone, which I think it automatically fails. Paralyzed, right? Uh, I believe that. Uh, it's not stunned, paralyzed. Stunned. Stunned. Automatically fails dexterity, yep. So it's prone. Stunned. stunned. And uh, super advantage. Dude. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Nice. Nice. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Five bludgeoning damage. Okie dokie. Nice. 
and everyone's just watching her <laughs> do all this punishment. <laughs> and I am gonna move dog. my remaining. Uh, so I took thirty feet to get there. I'm gonna use my remaining fifty feet of fifteen feet of movement to get as far away from Graven as I can. Uh, which uh, going the uh, 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 west? Or yeah, east? that way's gonna get me furthest. So this west, west. yeah. Please. Fifteen feet, you said? Yeah. Great. So that gets me how far away from Graven now? About twenty-five feet. Uh, yeah, well, there's a thing in between us. So yeah, we'll have to yeah. nuke it. Okay. Um, as you also run up, hit it, and you start to run away. As you got closer to this creature, these creatures have a horrible, like, oh. rotting stench oh, to them. God. Like, just of not of like death and decay, but just of sort of festering, sort of almost like, again, like the inside of a dog's mouth amplified like a hundred oh, times. God. It's like just Whoa. disgusting smell that you feel like if you had stayed there, that could have like affected you physically. Oh, oh okay. Just by being in its oh. uh, Now as you're a little bit away from it, it, it sort of dissipates very quickly. Sorry, with that second attack, um, strength saving throw that I assume it also fails. It does. To yeah. push it 15 feet. Um, it would have. It would have headed. It has to go that this. way. It would head in the direction. I would, of hit it. I would love that. Oh, great. I would love that. I want to get it far away from my friend Grave and <laughs> um, that little rocky bed great. there. Oh god, Bomb Boy. Okay, that's next. my turn. Who's next? Bomb All right, boy. after Erland, it is Bomb Boy. Boy. Okay, from the top of this ridge here, <laughs> tosses this. Doggo, baby. She probably doesn't care oh, about shit. that. I think you're both. Yep. Shit. So, sorry. Right. Dexterity save. And once again, you hear that. The dog automatically ah. fails. Dexterity yeah. save. Okay. Okay. Maybe I don't go down. Okay. What was it? 18. 18. Okay. You have no. Not saves. No. And no, not at all. Uh, 12 fire damage for so, fail, six fire damage okay. for Graven, okay. and I mean, I'm 12 not... fire damage for the okay. uh, little Prada as well. Uh, what did I say? 12, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Another kind of explosion of shrapnel and flame there in the center of this area. Um, and after that, he is going to back up a little bit as well. Um, okay, that is his turn. Okay, Sphera. Okay, um, I'm gonna run out uh, and try to run as far as I can. Um, I'm gonna take, uh, instead of shooting at anything right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a dash and try to okay, get myself 30. within 60 feet of them. Um, if, of who? Uh, These, of the other guys, the on guys up them? there. I can see them, I'm sure, right? Um, the ones that backed up, maybe not, because they purposely backed up there. Am I let within me... 60 feet of them there, kind of? Let me... Oops. Oh, Ooh, I'm back. Uh, I don't think you can... You definitely can't see these ones up here. You can see this guy, the wounded guy, and he is 85 feet away. Fuck, okay. Um, Where's the dog to the left over here? Is that one there? And that one's not within 60 80 feet away. 80 feet away. Um, all right, I am going to. Um, all right, I'm, I, since I'm there and I've taken a dash, I'm gonna go ahead and duck down where I am, and I'm gonna try to get closer next time. Okay, are you duck down like prone? Uh, yeah, I'm, okay. I think I'm just gonna. I don't think that the dog can move 50 feet, it right? Can it, it can. It can get to me. <laughs> it has 50 from the dash. It had like 50 feet of movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the other one moved pretty fast. All right, then knowing that that guy can get to me, I'm gonna stand up. Okay. I'm not gonna get to Stay. Um, <laughs> 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 okay. I thought, you said me thought about it, but uh, okay, that's that's it. For me. Okay. Okay, I have to secure as a foot soldier. All right, the foot soldier is going to... No. Which are the ones that we recognize, forgive me? Uh, probably the foot soldier and maybe the archer too, if that's the same archer that was up on, because one of the archers yeah. got away on the ridge. It's hard to tell, so, if they're wearing the same thing, so it's hard to tell if it's definitely The him. foot soldier's the one that I threw over the yes. edge, and then the archer's the archer. The bomb guy, we did not see. Not that you could remember, yeah. Archers. It seems like they've gathered some degree of finding whoever was in the vicinity. Okay. That fucking foot soldier wants nothing to do with it. And which one blew the whistle? Yeah. And which one what? The, the archer whistle. had the whistle sort of same archer. Uh, under his okay. tunic there, yeah. Um, this guy's gonna move another 30 feet, sort of looking to converge up here with his buddies. Okay, that's his turn. All right, after foot soldier, it's Graven. All right. I, can I see them anymore? Not the ones that backed up, no. 
Not until you Can go. I... <laughs> How far are they from me? <laughs> like 120 feet? Can I lob a fireball? If it's a 150 foot range, can I aim it at the ground in front of where? What kind of explosion radius? Is it a sphere? It's a 20 foot sphere. It's a sphere. So I mean, if you just have the fireball hit here, oops. Uh, yeah, like you see what I mean? Like even if it hits <laughs> if, the edge there. If know? I saw that they only backed up a little bit. I mean, certainly as they were firing, like the guy fired his crossbow and he's reloading and walking. So you yeah. presume he didn't get that far away. I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> Fires a missile of flaming energy up at the rock. And again, it's not even going towards a target. If someone was watching, they might be like, that guy's shooting at fucking nothing. It hits the ridge and just <laughs> burst of flame. Okay. So, dexterity, dexterity saving, saving throws. throws. Yeah, yeah. Come on, fireball. Come on, fail, fireball. I think. Uh, nine. Fail. One, and then 13. Fail. Yes! Yes! Blow them up for <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, Everything's fine. Okay. Two ones, two twos, two threes. A four and a Yahtzee. six. Yahtzee. Just kidding. <laughs> 16. Uh. 15, 20. Um. The lowest fire. Ever. 20 fire damage. God. What in hey, the fuck? Well, appropriately for something that uh, only nicked them as they were running. Oh my god. Oh my god. My god. It must be Is some it of the only, minis. Like, yeah. monsters or something? No, I don't know. Uh, in any case, 22 damage. They feel the heat sort of licking at their heels as they're running in the opposite oh direction. Okay, oh. you still have movement. Hey, you did good, bud. Uh, I was I almost have 30 a full house. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> that does nothing for us, I, but... What does 30 look like? And can you just kind of swing around me in 30? I can't tell. Oh, sure. sure. Like, like, what like 30 looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, he would get you to the edge of anywhere on. Um, I guess I could go... I want to go back. Uh, What's that rock formation right in front of Erland? It's just... It's it's not a cover. Not There's a just cover. like a rock, but yeah, it's... Okay. I'm going to be flat to the ground. See. And... The, we, Forgive me, if we zoom out, the way we came down here, we know there's a footpath down here, right? It's No, you like slid we down slid the rocks down. there, yeah. Okay. That's where Erlin kind of slid down and the rest of you made a bunch of noise. I don't know if you remember that, but yeah, you guys like, this isn't like a sheer vertical cliff, it's yeah. like a steep slope, and that's what you guys came down. Right. You guys came from this direction, like that over here that they are at. Oh, that's wow. the direction you came from. Now, 30's not gonna get me to that tree. Uh, this one here? Southeast of me, yeah. Uh, no. Oh. It's gonna get you to this sort of dry uh, sort of bed here. And what about the other side of those rocks uh, northwest of me? Uh, up here? Yeah, just the low ones, I guess. I mean, th those aren't enough for cover, cover. Yeah, yeah. See, those are pretty flat there. You've got no cover. Got no cover. <laughs> All right, I'm going 30 towards that tree. This one? Yeah. This one here. Because I need some. Ch oh, that's right, with Safira there. Well, Hello. See any yeah, more bombs? Do I? Here I come. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I already yelled one thing. <laughs> what I do? Nothing. Anything else? We're great. You're perfect. Okay, who's next? <laughs> it's top of the Seems lineup with the archer. Twits. Okay, I have a plan. archer, having reloaded, is going to walk his way oh, back like to the edge here. Comes over, peeks over the edge with his crossbow, <laughs> and fires down. He's going to fire at Sephiroth. Stop. Hey. Putting corner wrapping. <laughs> that is a 22 to hit. Damn. Ow. <laughs> Eight piercing and archer's eye here. And another two piercing, so 12 piercing total. Is that what I said? No, no, 10 piercing total. It was eight and then two. Total? Yep. Okay. 10 total piercing game. Yeah. <laughs> Fires that off. Immediately starts winding up the crossbow one more time. Um, okay. He's going to back yep. up again. Yep. And he's done. Next. Okay. All right, uh, it's Orba. All right. Okay, so can I just, before I decide in which direction I'm appearing yes. here. Here you are in the ethereal wow. plane. Yeah, Orba hears like muted sound. <laughs> she heard like a, like a, like a bomb that was like weirdly compressed go off and she can see like a little bit. I Everybody see, moving in like shadows. I can see within 60 feet of me technically. Where is that uh, injured dog that, that fucked up its landing? It is over here. How far is he from me? 
80. 80, so... 80. Plus a 10. Fuck, I don't even think I get in range. Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Orb is gonna blink 10 feet toward the dog. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, just uh, if I were to blink at the end of this turn, but I wanted to hold a spell for something, that can't happen, can it? Nope. Okay, got it. Um, okay, so you can gonna... hold a spell, but then if you blink, you can't target it. Do I still like expend expend yes. spell slot? Yes. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, ten feet toward the dog then. Great. Okay, how close am I to it? Right. Like 65, 70 feet, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you still yeah. have your movement, that's... Yeah. Right, no, I want to use something that's within 30 feet, and that's after I'm not in range to do that. Um, okay, now that I can't do that, I'm gonna cast... Because you're, like, marching toward it, you see it kind of getting up from its prone position after falling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to just get its attention and cast uh, a ray of frost at it. Okay. That's a 26 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, so his movement speed's reduced by 10 feet. Um, nice. Uh, 11 damage. 11, so we've got 12. Minus 10 move, great. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's gonna try and get its attention. Can I dash, not dash, can I run to that tree and kind of get out of its sight there? Which tree? To the right, of, oh sorry, Southeast. east. Uh, Southeast. So you haven't moved at all, right? Correct. So 30 feet gets you kind of up there. Um, sure, let's do that. I'm gonna run 30 feet kind of there. Okay. <laughs> yep, end of my turn. Go ahead and roll for it. Yeah. Ooh, come on, 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 come Okay. Uh, the the dog thing. I'm about to get okay. fucked. <laughs> so that one is still paralyzed. You said you had a plan. Still I did. I did. It, is it the start of your end of my turn? End of <laughs> your next turn. Shooting shoot of things. my next turn. Is that right. the next so one? That one's just shooting there. Yeah. I'm and this sick. one with nothing else to do is just kind of. Is he like closer and closer and closer? Sniffing on me. He's trying to sniff. He did give a sniff as he went by, but unable to discern anything in that particular spot. Um, and then it is going to dash here. I, I had a feeling you might say that. He's gonna get right up behind the two of you guys. Right. That's a dash. I love that. Yeah, that's a dash. I, I that love was that. its dash. Oh, it's nasty though, if we end our turn near it, I bet it's gonna fuck us up. Yeah, it is. Okay, that is its turn. Okay, Erland. How Erland. far away from the um, still uh, uh, paralyzed, sorry, stunned one? You got it in my head now. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. And am I 45 feet away from any tree by any chance? <laughs> sorry, am I 35 feet away from any tree? Yeah, the edge of this tree will say yes. Compelling. <laughs> oh, oh my minus Riveted. the move, did we do that for that dog? Uh, no, but he still had enough. Okay. So, um, so he had 50 and then another 50, so it was 40, 40 and another 40, that's still, still what enough? I made okay. yeah. Are there any trees within that tree that are 60 feet away up top, near where those gentlemen are? Yes, like oh, you could get up to the ridge. You couldn't get like there, there isn't a tree up there that's 80 feet. This one's 40, 50. Feet. But I could get up there pretty quick. Yes, you could definitely hop to a tree that's up here. Yep. Okay, I think I need to fuck this dog up yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Now. Um, I'm gonna go to that dog that's on the ground and I'm going to hit him with hammer and nunchaku. Sort of just wailing on this sure. dumb dog. It's, it's not really a dog. We keep calling him a oh, dog. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. It's a lucrata. Nasty <laughs> also, boy. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird deer badger thing. <laughs> Stinky four legged bitch. Deer badger's cool. 11 to hit. With advantage? Yes. Sure. That will miss. So yeah. Erlen's sort of charging yeah. forward, yeah. swings, and it's just like the writhing of the creature as it stunned that he's unable to sort of find a natural one and a four. It happens frequently. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, nope, okay. no, it doesn't count, it doesn't okay. count. There we go, same thing. Okay. Um, 21 to hit. That will hit. Um, nine bludgeoning damage. Okay. What's she doing? Nice. Up to 42. Better be dying! 42. Uh, so oh my red, god. Seven, yeah, right. yep, yeah. Listen to these, look at these hefty fuck, little fuck, things. Fuck, everything fuck, we fight is... Fuck. Is gonna be hefty? Gonna be Slurry of motherfucking blows. We're still gonna have like six combats of fucking death. A hefty, hefty boy. Uh, uh, 19 to hit. I'll hit. Okay. I wasn't, no. I, I wasn't sure. No, oh dude. I'm God. so anxious. Shut up. Eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, 
Give and, more attack. Um, I'm gonna. None of these matters. It's, <laughs> it's fall further. Um, I don't want to push it yet. So <laughs> push him into the ground. Can we bury him alive? Um, sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. I think I have to do it again. There we go. Okay. We go. Um, we go. Uh, nine bludgeoning nine. damage. And with one more smack, oh. and you see the tongue like flop out onto the ground there. Get away from him. I'm gonna whisper. Okay. I'm going up. Uh, and I'm going to use my remaining movement to get towards that tree. I want to try and move far away from uh, the What did you use? 15, I think? Is that right? I think that's right, yeah. So okay. 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah, I mean, you can get up to the tree. This is the one you're trying to get up to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use all 30 feet to get onto the other side of it, though, just okay. to get sure. myself as far away from Graven as possible. Sure. <laughs> you do so. Um, fuck me. I only have one key point left, guys. That's my turn. Okay, who's next? Uh, after Erland, it is the bomb, bomb boy. Bomb. Okay, so he's gonna step forward so we can see over the edge here. He does not have another bomb in his hand as he comes over towards the edge. That's good. That's that's he's going to. You guys are within five. He does have a stick of dynamite. Of each other. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, Why wouldn't we be with egg? <laughs> Gonna cast an acid splash here. Okay, some fine. bubbling, sort of green, acidic energy. Is it an attack roll? You see, like some of the sort of uh, acidic bubbles, sort of splashing out into the air. It makes like a little streak, almost like a stink bomb, moving across the sky. Do we get to and it is an attack roll. Oh it's no, it is a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Just save it. Just save it. Yeah, yeah. Just save just it. Save dexterity it. save. Yep. Save it. Um, let's see. Twelve. Nine. Of a nine, you both take, you both take eight acid damage. Oh, okay. Shit. You're not a, I am I'm un- not un- You're unconscious. I am unfucking conscious. And Graven falls to the ground with the acidic energy pouring over him. <sighs> and then he is I, going I to step back. No, I can't get him up. I can't get him up. Okay. Do you need, do you need to go fucking fire a bow though? Uh, I can. I can get him up. I have a helix gear. Okay. Who's next? Me. Uh, um, I'm gonna take a bonus action. Fuck Craven. Before and you do that, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Your newfound fucking Constitution, bro. Uh, yeah, it's, it's new. Thirteen. Thirteen. That will succeed. Oh. So you. Oh, you I didn't think Hear that, that stench succeed. sort of seeping into your nostrils, and you immediately, oh, you <laughs> instinctively know to cover it. That also makes okay. you immune to Lucrata stench for an hour. So oh, oh. After succeeding on it, you are you're like get used to it. Yeah, you're like, eh, it's not so bad. Now. All right. Uh, okay. Great. Right. So yeah, I, I'm not like poisoned or anything, and I didn't have to make that save. Uh, you'd make it at the beginning of your turn. It hasn't. Been, oh, did we pass your turn? No. Oh, okay. Then no. you don't have to make. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast Healing Spirit uh, okay. and put it on Graven. And that's I'm a bonus action. I'm gonna go ahead action, and right. heal him. Sorry. Um, okay. That is a bonus action. The healing spirit. That's a long rest of this fucking cave. It's like two o'clock. Oh, cool. Okay. It's really got sneaks. Uh, do you want to roll it? It's just one d six. Uh, you get to roll it. It's your spell. What you didn't consider is I didn't want to. <laughs> Don't put it on him though. Okay. Um, yeah, that's uh, that is five. Plus my spell cast. Hit points. Right <laughs> Raven comes back. You are still prone, but you are yeah. conscious. Okay. Um, all right. So that's uh, bonus action. I am still, if I disengage from this creature, it's going to get an opportunity attack on me, right? Disengage, no, but that is an action to disengage. Um, okay, I'm not going to do that. If I have asked you this before. If I stab it with my spiritual weapon, can I become... Can I use Animus? Uh, you need to fire it out of the bow. You can fire it with disadvantage, or step back and fire it with a not disadvantage, but... Okay, with an attack of opportunity. It's not the arrow that's magical, it's the firing of the bow, so you need to fire the bow. Okay, um, I am going to... And it's an action to switch my weapon right now, too, right? Uh, you could toss your bow to the ground and draw your no, weapon. I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> it's just like... I'm gonna take the opportunity attack. I'm gonna run away. Oh, Actually, no, I'm not. Like I'm gonna do it with disadvantage. Okay. Just aim right down the snout. Plus nine. You're also plus nine now, bro. Yeah, I know. Let's do it. Those oh, are very good great. rolls. 21 to hit. It's gonna hit. Fuck you. Also, no, it's no longer mine. Yes, it is. 
Oh, oh. that's better than last week. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it really is. It really is. Last wow. week. Whoa. Um, I'm sorry. That's the only damage. Wow. Right. Um, Holy shit! Oh yeah. Where okay, were you? Nineteen. Nineteen total. total. Great. Okay. Right. Um. It's about fifty damage. All right, I'm, and then I'm I'm gonna take the disadvantage shot again. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Fuck him up. And I'm I'm not activating it. That's not close. Oh, okay. Oh wait. No, it's uh, those are both the same. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is an eighteen to hit. That'll hit. Yep. Okay, great. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we love that. We love that. Yes, oh, oh my god. god. Ah, 12 piercing damage. 12 piercing Keep it coming, damage. keep it coming. Okay. Okay. Keep it coming. Okay. What else you got, what else you got? That's it, that's it that's for this close. turn. That's, that's, that's as much as I can do. Three, three, three. Yeah, Couple of arrows 55. right into the snout. It, it like it? snaps at you and one of the arrows goes up into the soft palate kind of up under its nose. <laughs> and immediately Ooh. a creature that didn't look in bad shape is suddenly like limping and sort of growling and scratching at the arrows that are stuck in its maw. Yes, Sephira. Okay, okay, you still have movement if you'd like it. Um, I... I'm not going to take the opportunity yeah. attack. Okay. All right. Who's next? All right. After Sephira, it is the foot soldier. Foot soldier is going to protect his buddies. buddies. 30 feet. Uh, it's a little bit of difficult oh, terrain. He's coming up to his friends up there. Totally That's his guys. turn. Okay. After the foot soldier, it's Graven. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going. Great. So I have to make this save, right? Uh, you do. Yes. Constitution saving throw. Six. You are poisoned until the start of the Lucrata's next turn. Oh my god. Well, it's not very long. It's like a... What if the Lucrata dies? Yes, does that the, matter? The, the, the turn then comes already <laughs> poisoned, <laughs> infected, you're not. Oh, I hate that. So, I will... You're just conditioned poison, yeah. so you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Yeah. I'm going to stand up, use half my movement, right. and I'm going to toll the dead on this little fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. <sighs> That is a 14. <laughs> cool. Are you a fighter now? Shut up. <laughs> Anything else? How do uh, fuck! Um, uh, I don't have any bonus actions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, movement is bad. Not movement is also bad. Um, I'm gonna stay there. Okay, staying there. You can feel, you can see the healing spirit like shimmering around you in the space that you're in. Everyone Who's next? Dead to die. Archer. Okay, the archer's gonna poke his head out once again. I, I, this is a terrible position. Uh, and he's going to, <laughs> to fire at Sephira there. Yeah. I might go down. 14 that to hit. Eat it. Eat it. Yes, so here's the arrow yeah. coming and <laughs> sticks into the ground next to you, and he Fuck. cranks the bow back as he moves back again to stay out of sight. Okay, who's next? Uh, it's Orba. All right, All right. Orba. Where, it, how far am I from the Lucrata? You are 45 feet away. You, you need to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need everyone to die. <laughs> Do you need I wanted to get to cover this turn, but if I if he had even gotten one bite on me, I probably would have gone down again. Well, he's probably gonna do it. Now. Um, let me just remind myself what restrain does again. Get they can't. They can't move. Movement, they can't move. Movement, speed, movement speed zero, and you have advantage on attack rolls against them, and I think they have disadvantage on theirs. Correct. They have disadvantage. Okay. Do these guys look terribly like strong as creatures? Uh, for beasts, like they're pretty, like sort of muscular, like like almost like sort of moose-like, like I said, like they have sort of hearty trunks. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Uh, fuck. Uh, Orb is gonna get within thirty feet of it. Okay, thirty feet. You're right at that corner there. So, okay. so that's fifteen feet of Half your movement. movement. Yep. She's gonna feel her heels in the earth start from like a needle position and spread her legs on the ground and reach up and cast Maximilian's Earth and Grass. Ooh, I haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen that one in a while. Pulling it out. Um, you give it the little hand. I don't know if I have to for that. Demonic hand. <laughs> oh, that shit. I don't know if I, we're gonna use the same thing as Raven's spiritual weapon, even though that's not what it is. Cool. Oh, that looks cute anyway. 
Uh, and I need that to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Oh, lots of them. That is a natural two, which is not going to do it. It's oh, a fail. six. Fail. So he is restrained, and he's going to take 2d6 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, it's got to fucking kill him. It's not got to. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to. Let's hold on that thought. Nine. Nine, okay. Nine. That's like, oh, like come one on. Or two away. I know it. I fucking know it. Okay, it's restrained. Hand grasps the bottom. It is restrained. Yeah. Um, and then. Oh my god. Who's next? Is the fucking Bomb Boy and stuff? Okay. No, it's Lucrata next. Oh, it's yep. Lucrata next. And then me. Right. Okay. Fuck. Uh, can I get. Where's that tree at? Uh, on the on the southwest. Where's that tree at? <laughs> this one here? Yes. I just want to. How far is it uh. from me? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Where's it at? Where? There. Yeah. <laughs> right there. there. <laughs> uh, it is about 40, 35, 40 feet away. Okay. Orb is going to use her 15 feet of movement to get closer to that tree. And it's the end of her turn, so she's going to see if she can activate Blink again. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Looks like a 17. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't look like Whoa. a 17. <laughs> it, it was cocked, but it wasn't that cocked. It's just the stupid film. It's an 11, but it looks like a 17. <laughs> okay, that's the It disappears like. off of the plane again. I feel when the weather's um, Okay, after Orba, it's the Lucrata. Okay, the, one, uh, the other one's dead, so this one is here. Uh, and with Hasn't the Graven the poisoned, it is going to make this attack. Um, it is with disadvantage, disadvantage. because it is restricted. It's it's in, at disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's okay. Uh, and also, Graven right now is no longer poison. At the start oh, of its next turn. That's good. Uh, it, it Graven is no longer. Thank you. Poison. Would like uh, still with disadvantage. Here we go. And not terrible, but not gonna do it. Uh, Thirteen. Miss. <laughs> Graven brings up the shield. <laughs> pushes it back. What? Three uh, and that's its turn. Fuck yes. We uh, oh wait, uh, I can make a multi attack. No. Yep. Uh, now that it's not dash. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still it's with still disadvantage. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. Same thing. Force is uh, ten to hit. Miss. So with a couple sort of feeble bites, it's it's okay. being sort of crushed okay. by that earthen hand and just unable to get its maw fully free. <laughs> Couple weak bites as it sh- just snaps okay. out at Grave in there. Let All me right. finish this one. Um, and I'm trying okay. to figure out if it can just make an attempt to break out of it, or if it needs to use an action to do it. Give me one second. Uh, to break out the restrained target, can use its action to make a strength. It did not do Great. so. It cool. stays inside the grass. Can it make reactions? Can it like do yeah, opportunity it attacks? It, yeah. Yep. It would be a, with disadvantage the opportunity attack. Oh, okay. Because it's restrained, yeah. but it's good to know. Okay. Uh, yep. Who's next? Uh, okay. After the the crowd, it's early. All right, Come on, right up the tree there, sort of hiding behind this one here, looking out at the carnage. All right. There's three of you with one of those things. Oh. It has like two HP left. Oh. 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 Jumping and not. Oh. Seeing that they're <laughs> definitely for sure fine because I killed one by myself. Oh my god. I'm gonna. <laughs> so <laughs> supportive. <laughs> this guy. Go ahead and. So supportive of the team. Two. Two. A constitution saving throw at plus zero. I still have come. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, you loser. And and be, that's worth the three distance. Points. So I can move. It takes up ten feet of my movement, and I can move sixty feet to another tree. Okay, so you can. I mean, I like any to, of these ones. I want to yeah. go the. The foot soldier is moving up towards them, correct? Yeah, I mean, you saw him disappear. I wouldn't say you know exactly where he is. This tree's 60. Great, I'm going to take that one. Okay. Uh, they can't see me doing this either, right? Like, I am out of sight of them. Um, as far as you can, no one has uh, no one has fired at you since you were, like, over here. Great. Um, so I'm going to try and do any movement from coming up from that tree quietly. Okay, great. Uh, I teleport you there. That's what I was trying to do, but it's not. Um, give me a stealth check. Love that. Perfect. Because so, they didn't. See, they might have seen you kind of go fun, behind fun, that tree, fun. but that doesn't mean that ah. they. Mm, uh, it, it, it's a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Oh. So as soon as you come out of the tree, there's a couple sort of big leaves right there, and you sort of push into them. And it makes a little quiet rustle. <laughs> Erlen grabs one of the big leaves. That guy's like, I think that guy just blinked through that tree. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, okay. So I still so have three feet of movement. <laughs> yep. um, I would like to try and scale that wall quiet. Okay. Like I'd like to go okay. straight up, okay. ideally, if possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so up. that requires oh, 10 feet to get to the edge. Yes, 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 yes. And then give me an acrobatics or athletics check. Your Another 14. Another 14, okay. okay. So you, that was 10 to go in, 10 to here. This is another, so 10 but doubled for climbing. So this is 40, you've used 40 feet. I have five feet left. So you can get like a little further. Okay. Up. Yep. Um, you certainly didn't hear anyone shout or say anything to the effect of, you know, knowing that you were there. You're quietly scaling the thing. Okay. Also, the whole meanwhile, as the Lucratas, now that they're kind of both down, you'd see heard it less, but he's been blowing that whistle, sort of, <laughs> sort of ringing out to make the Lucratas sort of in their okay. attack position. Um, I'm doing a little math in my head here. Um, I'm going to use, I haven't used an action yet, so I'm going to use my bonus... Attack this oh, it says an action. Oh, let's go fuck myself then. How about that? <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my action to um, continue climbing towards the archer. To dash. To dash. Yeah. Great. Ooh. So that's another. So that's twenty for climbing, mm-hmm. and then you could get up here with another twenty. If you'd like. So that would be forty feet of movement total. Oh no, yeah, forty feet of movement total to get right up here. Um. I am going to stay hidden just below the limb. Okay. Um, right there. Give me one more stealth check now that you're closer here. You're getting very close to where they are. Uh, 13? 13. Okay, you're climbing. You're doing a pretty good job scaling this, but they're very close by, and there's kind of just some... You haven't heard anything to the effect of their sort of awareness. Okay, of stealth watch. That is... Um, Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Just, that's my turn. All right. After I'm, I'm close just enough that now I can just step up there, right? Like that's not a difficult climb to that next level. Not a difficult climb, but, but it still can... takes some okay, great. difficult terrain movement. Uh, to get up there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Bomb boy. Bomb boy. Okay. Great. So he's gonna head over to the edge here again. Yes. He um, he's gonna look down at everyone, kind of still clumsy. staying around the loot crata there, mm. and. Another use of that fucking thing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, he's gonna use acid splash again. Dexterity saving throws for both of you, please. This could be really bad. Ten. Right. Uh, dexterity. Mm-hmm. Saving throw. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Safira saves hers. Graven, you take eight acid damage. Down again. Do I? I don't take any damage nope. on the no, save. Okay, yeah. thanks. Does God. it hit the Lucrata? Um, no. It can be two targets within five feet of each other. Got it. And so you can choose. Graven's so Graven's, like, Graven's down again. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky! Oh. oh, it's so bad. Comes back to life, okay. smells the worst thing he's ever smelled in his life, dies again. <laughs> what a way to go. Okay. Uh, that is the. Um, That's Bomb Boy? Yep. Right, it's my turn, Vera. Uh, Raven! <laughs> fucking hell! I'm gonna get him up with the healing you may do so. <laughs> And And that, that's its, it's only two uses. It's, right? uh, then it's yeah. gone, it's dead. Kill it. <laughs> it's gone, it's dead. Kill it. Uh, five again. Okay. okay. Um, Alright, I am going to uh, take a disadvantage shot again at this guy. You may do so. Um, Kill that fucking. Thing. Oh, that's fucked. Um, okay. Uh, tw- uh, 12 to hit, that's that gonna miss. miss. Uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. Uh, does that mean I roll a disadvantage thing again, or just another straight die? Um, so, uh, you would re-roll one of you. You can choose a Wait, die. Wait, is she rolling one. with disadvantage? Cause it should be normal. Cause it's restrained. Uh, oh, you're didn't. right. You can do a, you can re-roll here. Oh, straight re-roll. Straight re-roll, without, straight re-roll without spending the inspiration. Okay. Sorry. Uh, 24 to hit. Let I me mean, remind myself that I did not, in fact, use this. Okay. Um, Is it statistically oh my possible God. for it to not die? Uh, that's nine no, piercing nine. damage. <laughs> <laughs> And immediately goes down. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, so now that that guy's down, can I see anyone up above? Give me a perception check. A difficult one to see if you can see kind of the coattails of the uh, 
13? No, he can't. Oh. He, he moves too far past the sort of um, lip there. Okay, and no, nothing else is down here? Nope. All right, then I'm going to take my movement, and I want to move... Um, if I move closer to the the ridge, then that's going to make it harder to see them, right? Uh, until you get up there. Okay, I'm going to just move there and take cover behind that tree. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and and that's yeah. that's it. Okay, great. Who's next? All right, after Sephira, it's the foot soldier. Okie dokie. What are they doing up there? Is that a little fucking sea party? Come see them. And that is his turn. Who's next? Oh, All right, Graven. Uh, Graven. Half my movement Graven. to get up again. To get up. Up. Picks himself off the ground. Now the corpse of the Lucrata is sort of there. Graven gives a little kick. <laughs> 15 feet uh, towards. That doesn't get me to Sephira, does it? No. Kind of stopping with Can I actually go, <laughs> yeah, um, go away. almost straight east <laughs> with that? I'm like, why even sure. get the fuck uh, away? With that 15? <laughs> Yeah. What kind of sight line? <laughs> like if I kept going straight east, would I end up with a sight line on that? Um, not straight east, but south. You know, southeast. Like in this direction. Yeah. I mean, you could hold something for when they pop out, right. but you wouldn't be able to see them from there. Okay. I'm gonna. I have to dash this turn anyway. Um. Does thirty get me kind of behind those clump of three bushes? Nope, not quite. Um, uh, 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 not even if I had taken a straight shot from where I was. Mm, I don't think so. I, mean, I, went, I went straight east. Yep. Like 15 feet. I mean, yeah. you were like, and so. So 45? 40. I mean, if you get kind of up to them. If I slid prone. Would that give me some kind of cover there? From up above, no. From up above, above no. Be, like looking down, I would be able to see that. You can right. manage that. I'll just get in the tree with some. Okay. Oh my god, dude! I I, have, I can't it's, let things target okay. me. I don't. Okay. I have nowhere else to fucking go. Okay. All right. After Graven, it's top of the lineup with Archer. Okie dokie. Coming. And this up. is definitely some cover for us here. Right? Yeah. Um, yes. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. He's gonna look down. Where you guys ran behind that tree, and he's gonna fire off the spear right here. Do I get any plus my? Seat? You do. You're gonna get plus two for partial right. cover. Um, seventeen. <laughs> you peek out for a moment, and then duck back, and you hear like <laughs> the, <laughs> the arrow on the other side. That's good. Um, okay, and he's gonna back up, and that's it. Next. All right. Uh, it's Orba. Okay. All right. So, what I'm gonna start trying to do here, I think. Can I see the ridge that is east of their ridge? Their little peak that they're on? Yeah. Uh, like this? Yeah, I'm just trying to, like, get a height equal thing happening without getting on their platform. Do you know what I mean? So that it's harder sure. for them to take cover? I mean, yes, that's about equal. It's just far away. Okay, what about the... Yeah, what about that snowy rock there that you're... That's lower. On? You'd probably still be able to see them, but it's lower than them. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna enter back from the ethereal plane yep. 10 feet closer to those bridges and stuff. Okay, 10 feet there. Okay, where does 60 feet get me if I wanna be behind a tree? 40 feet gets you up to the ridge, so you can pick any tree. Yeah, how about just east there? Uh, just southeast. Like, how far do you wanna go? Keep going, yeah, like on the hillside. Keep 40, going. 40 feet? Yep. 45 yeah, I'm using feet? the dash, so just use that's, all of it. That's 45 feet up to the ridge. And then would you like to climb the ridge? Oh, I thought you said you didn't. We didn't have to climb. Again, it's okay. it's like you're you're like on fours. Like it's a steep slope. Okay. It's difficult to rain, regardless. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll climb. I'll okay. To climb. Uh, give me. Uh, you don't. This. It doesn't even need to you make a check for it. So you just have to scale it a little. Oh, bit. okay. Got it. Understood. Um, let's have you. It's not fifteen fast. feet left. Give you another so seven and a half seven. feet. There, as you're sort of working your way up this little hillside. Come on, Orba. Okay. Got it. Um, great, that's the end of my turn, and Go I'm going to try to blink. Yep. I don't come think there's on, any on, trying on. about it. I think you have to do it. <clears throat> well, I have to roll for it. No, I know, but <laughs> sorry. I think you sometimes you phrase it as if you're like, I think I'm going to oh. choose to do it. You, there's no choosing. <laughs> I just blink. blink. You blink. Great. Does it work? Yes. Great. How long do you have this for? A uh, minute. <laughs> okay, who's next? It's me. Oh, there you go. All right. You can hear their footsteps up above you, sort of moving. 
Can I hear right. if they're saying anything in regards to being able to see people over the edge? They have not said anything to each other. And how f- far away from the edge are they? Uh, which is special. Sure. <laughs> from which edge? From like, like again, and from uh, the northward where they've been shooting off. I'm not, I, I don't think you know exactly <laughs> that. I mean, you could see from down below that that platform's pretty narrow, but an mm-hmm. exact value. Um, and they haven't indicated that they hear me at all. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, I am going to. Oh, so hold on. Over here, we got Eat him. Just blow him there. up. I am going to try and climb up and get access to the crossbow guy. All right, you can access definitely climb it to him. Let's Let's access to him. I've gotten access. So, okay, so access 10, 10, 10 feet no, difficult, access. so this 20 feet gets you up to the top here. Okay. And this guy's going to use his held action here. Shit. What? They both used actions. Oh, nope. the no. foot soldier did not. Oh, am I within right. range of him? He has a spear which has reach. Pokey in the air. Oh, he doesn't have a sword. Are you okay? <laughs> 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, seven piercing damage. Don't go down up there. Uh, down up there. Oh. Okay, I don't now think you're up listening. here. Yes. <laughs> You've used 20 feet of movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am going to run back down. <laughs> Leave. Didn't realize right. it was three. <laughs> um, Am I within melee range of the crossbow guy yet? I would like to be Five within melee feet. range of the crossbow yep. guy. So now I'm in so. melee range of two people right now, correct? That is correct. And that guy looks a little beat up that just stabbed me, yeah? Yes. He okay, looks great. Very beat up, yeah. <laughs> I am going to attack that lovely gentleman. The the, the, cro- the cross the foot soldier, yeah. Sorry, foot soldier. The, stab- foot soldier, the stabby foot soldier, stabby foot soldier, cross foot man. The cross the crossfit foot soldier. <laughs> of course. You may do so. Ten to hit. That will miss. <laughs> you're the big shit. You're the big, big 14 to hit? That'll miss. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, he's still armored just uh, like he was, but he has a shield and partial. I am using my last key point to use Flurry of Blows. I don't like it when you say your last. 15 to hit? It's gonna miss. Oh! 16 to hit? It's gonna miss. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Just attack him four times. Yes. Yep. You have a fellow teammate with half plate and a shield, so I think you have an idea of mm-hmm. how tough that is. Oh, 18. dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bitch. I don't like that any of that just happened. Um, I am going to. I used a bonus action. There's not much I can do here, friends. Okay, that is my. Oh. Okay. Who's next? After yeah, Erland, it's Bomb Boy. Bomb Boy, okay, so as soon as all this flurry of activity is happening, a couple quick strikes that don't find their mark, all of them kind of turn, he's up here! And they all turn their attention over. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 the monk made his way up and says, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I need you guys help? I'm gonna try, but gonna I'm not try. sure. Okay, uh, does not have anything else? He's just gonna um, acid splash. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Come on, come on, come on, be dexterous a little bit. Edge! Ten, ten. ten you uh, idiot! Six acid damage. Uh, and he is going to. I, oh uh, my god, I can't. Like back up. Yes! Okay. I can. Okay, who's next? All right, it, after it's me, Instagram. it's me. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna, can I run up to a point? Is there any way I can get within fucking 60 feet of these guys? 60 feet with, I'm gonna say, if you get like kind of over here, yes. you could 60 feet, no. Not God, without climbing the ridge. You could get a, he, he would have a partially covered shot if you get over here, or you can get up on the ridge. Do you need sight of someone to hunters mark them? Is that what you're trying to do? No, I am trying to make sure that I can use terminal rebound uh, for my oh, animus. Uh, yeah, you need to get closer. Yeah, uh, can I move that distance? How far, how far so is that? 30 basically gets you to the edge of the ridge. Fuck. Okay, and when I'm there, I can't, I can't see anyone to be able to strike them? Nope. Do you need sight for Um, I'm not 100% sure, to be Sight honest. for Animus? Healing no, Spirit. Healing Spirit. Healing Spirit. Healing Spirit. I mean, 
You have to see where you're putting it, I imagine. Uh, if it doesn't say it doesn't have say to that. see, then I can let her guess. It doesn't yeah. say that. Let me bring it up. Let's be real quick. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't say that. So you have to dash in the Um, team. yeah, okay. Um, all right, I am going to... Yeah, I'm gonna use my dash, I think, to get up this ridge here. Okay. I think you moved me instead of her. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> you guys were so yeah. buddy close. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my dash then to get up there, and I'm going to use my last gets you just to the top level there. two spell slot to cast Healing Spirit. Okay, what's the range on Healing Spirit? 60 uh, feet? 60 feet. Okay. I'm gonna cast it up, up by where Erland is. I need you to give me a, I'm gonna let you do a survival check, because what you're doing is sort of, before you got up to the ridge, you're like right. trying to picture the terrain, and you're trying to put the spirit exactly where okay. you saw Grave Survival, up there. you said? Yep, yeah. survival check. Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah. That is a 17. Great, so as Erlen sort of fending off blows, he watches as a little okay. healing spirit appears right next to him. All right, um, um, and that's that's it for my turn. Uh, I can I can use it, yeah, I can activate it on this turn. Oh. So I, I'll go ahead and activate uh, it for it. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that until he goes down, I think. Uh, no, because he can attack me if I get him. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm an idiot, yeah. Uh, you can't use it. <laughs> Okay. The I intangible can. spirit appears in a space that is a five foot cube you can see within yeah. range. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you still have an action, but you. Oh no, you still have a bonus yeah. action, but you can. I. Okay. So I can't use that. Nope. Mm. Cool. Well, I also can't see anyone there, can I? No. Nope. Well, that's it for me. Okay. That's all I can do. Who's all right, next? Yeah, first foot soldier. All right. He's gonna. Bear down here, he over the top right? of his shield. He places the spear on the top of his shield and he slides it down to keep his guard while also attacking here. I didn't use this. Okay, two attacks here. A nine to hit. Misses. 17 to hit. Bull bark. Blocks the spear with the bull bark. Go and roll for sepsis. Just passes, because I meant zero plus zero constitution. Excellent. Nice. Okay, that was the... DC 10, yeah, saves, yeah? Yeah. Yes. 10 on a DC 10 yep. saves, yeah. Matches a save. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you. And he can't kind of get between. He's going to get close, but he can't get between. So he is, he's going to stay there, I believe. Um, uh, okay. All right, Graven. All right, Graven. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. On Graven. What can I see? If I run out uh, kind of to the southeast, 15 feet. 15 feet? Can I see where they were f tussling up there? Give me a perception check, a not easy perception check. Oh my god. 15. 15? Is it something that requires direct sight or are you trying to get a gauge on where they are? That I will say, you have a good idea of where this sort of tussle is happening, yes. Could Mostly based I, on hearing it more so than seeing. Could I place? Could you show me <laughs> a straight line to the edge of the cliff between? Like this? No, farther towards. Oh, like, damn it! The other guy backed way off, didn't he? The the yeah mage, yes. Like I can't hit the edge of the uh, to the, more to the southeast of that. Like so this? Like, yeah, like as much. Tell them what you're trying to do. Yeah. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to hit a fireball behind where those guys are, closer to where they are. What's the range on fireball? 20 foot radius. No, no, oh, what's oh, the range? 150 feet. 150 feet. Um, I'm gonna say you can lob one kind of up here. Yeah. Um, and you're trying to knock it Erland, I'm assuming. I mean, if, yes. and it's a 20, 20 <laughs> and it's a 20, 20 foot, feet. Uh, I mean, if I, get him, if I, get him. I hit him, it's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, I need you to give me, first of all, you have to choose if you're gonna try, and I'm gonna let you try and hit the exact spot, yep. sort of as a sort of arced guess. Yep. And if you fail, um, I'm gonna say just a straight wisdom saving throw, and we'll, we'll roll one of those direction die, and it might be off a little bit. So you're I'm attempting a right. <laughs> I got. I, it's gonna kill me. It's not gonna kill it you. It could. I can run away. It's gonna kill you. I mean, let the man take his turn. Wisdom save. Yep. No, just a straight wisdom. Just a just wisdom add check. Wisdom. Add your wisdom modifier. Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, where's the... Uh, we can't get to you in the next single turn. Uh, yellow, which takes it south, which is better for you. Okay, so the spot you tried to hit was like you know, a little closer, a little closer, closer. There we go. That that's like the exact spot you tried yeah. to hit. It was like right behind that tree there. Yeah. So it actually goes a little bit to the south. So it's gonna hit like here. It's gonna hit him and maybe the other guy. No, it's gonna hit sort of unexpectedly. It's gonna hit the guy in the back <laughs> as you arc this fireball. Go ahead. Uh, dexterity save. It's a dexterity save. Um, 14. <laughs> he just saves. Okay. He just saves. Half damage. <laughs> Erlen watches as another eruption of flame on the hillside Six, there. Seven, eight. Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Here we go. Better, oh my better. god. Yeah. And that man. Okay, wow. Um, uh, maybe you could have killed her. 15 <laughs> plus 12 is 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. No. 33 and halved is 16. No. Yes. yes. Round it up or down? It's down. It's always so down. 16. 16, okay. Nothing. God. Erlen watch looks over his shoulder where the explosion happened, and you see that guy like patting out his robe there. <laughs> Some of the smoke rising around him. I still have 15 feet of movement, so here I come. Okay. All right, you bet. we'll say you get like pretty much up to the ridge there. Okay. No, that's okay. Who's next? Archer. Uh, the archer. All right. He is going to step behind his friend here. You can take an attack of opportunity if you wish. Love to. Um, my rolls are bad. 13 to hit. 13. We'll miss. So I'm not able to catch him on the way by. And he's gonna fire a shot. 19 to hit. It's gonna hit. Okay. Oh shit, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I really don't know why. What? Uh, that what? is seven what? piercing fuck. damage. Fuck! What yeah. reaction? He took an attack. Fuck! Oh. Merlin's down, and the guy is yeah. continuing to run. He's pranking his bow oh. there. That was so fucking stupid. God damn it. Well. And that is the archer's turn. Yep. Who's next? That's me. Okay, Orba. Where is Orba? Let's find out. Where is Orba? There Where she is. is. So you're a bit climbing halfway up. If you link back in, ten, we'll say that'll take oh. you to, like, to the top of the ridge. That is That's what good. we're doing. So. It's a little finicky on the ridge here. Yeah, man. Nah, we'll just teleport you. Thank there you. We go. I teleport. Um, okay. Okay, so what does sort of Orba <laughs> um, from here, you can see. So you can see Erlen sort of locked in combat here with the one foot soldier, and you can see that guy with the robe sort of, again, sort of patting up the flames here from Draven's fireball. We have diamonds now? <clears throat> Not really. That's no. Um, Orb is gonna shout, guys, Erlen's down! Um, okay. okay, and then, what did she get to do here? How far are these uh, guys from me, specifically Spearboy? Losus one's 60 oh. feet away. 60 feet. Okay. 70 feet, 75 feet. And that's Foot Soldier. Yep. Bomb Boy is next. Bomb Boy is next. Bomb Boy is the yellow guy, right? Yep, there's a healing spirit on me. No, you don't no, have there's there's no, no, She has to see you. I have to see you. Okay. I can if see she you runs, now, though. No, she can't. Can, not right now. If you move. If you, I, I if can, you run a little I ways up the hill, you'll be able next to. turn. Okay, so Bomb Boy is next. Yeah. Yep. Bomb Boy is I need Bomb Boy to not attack. <laughs> okay. Ideally. Um, is, is, uh, that acid spray thing, that's a spell, right? It is a spell, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I'm not blink. Uh, okay. Orba is gonna attack. Who's that? How does Bomboy look? I'm sorry. Pretty hurt. He's, like, significantly singed after that fireball. I mean, you can see there's, like, sort of some of his flesh is burnt and sort of curling on his neck there. Okay. Um, At one point, he, like, reaches up and peels a piece of burnt skin off. Okay, Orba is going to cast Ice Knife at level two on Bomb Boy. Come on. Okay, that's an attack roll. Yeah, go ahead. That's the right choice oh there. Um, what, the range is good on that? Yeah, 75. Ice Knife's one. Uh, fuck, no, Ice Knife's 60. Well, you haven't Dead. moved, yeah? You've yeah. only blinked. 
He's 75 away. 15. Okay. Fuck yeah, I'll get closer. Okay. 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 Teen gets you just over that little hump there. All right. Oh, he is within 60. Yep. That's a nine to hit. Gonna miss. Okay, hit or miss the shard, then explode. So I need a dexterity save. Right, dexterity? Yeah. Uh, 11. Fails, and because it's a level two spell, he takes 3d6 cold. Okay. Three. Six, eight, eight. damage. Oh. That blast hits him, and the cold combined with the heat, it like the skin crystallizes, and you can see pieces of his flesh coming off. Some of them burnt, some of them frosted. It's okay. Yes. Okay. A uh, nice big sigh of relief coming from Orba, and then, uh, okay. Let's do Use 15 feet of movement and an action. Can I do 15 okay. feet to get to that tree that is southwest there? Uh, this one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you're like kind of behind it. Yeah. Okay. And just to make sure I understand Blink correctly, there isn't a round where I'm like, I don't feel like it. Uh, I don't think you can choose. No. Um, can she dispel the whole thing? I don't even think you can do that. It's like it's very powerful, but it's also oh, a little you can't <laughs> Dismiss, you can dismiss this spell as an action. There you oh, go. Full so you action. can dismiss okay. it, but it takes a full action. Okay. And you can't choose. Let me just double check. I think it's pretty certain. No, I don't know. Yep, that's fine. Um, laugh about the blink, John. Laugh with us about the blink. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh until Sabira can see me. There's no choosing, but you can dismiss it as an action. Great. So as she's running, she sees the archer guy, and she's going to try to, like. Um, <laughs> She's gonna try to just get his attention and she's gonna be like, you're next, as she runs to the tree. Okay, he was sort of pulling back the crossbow again and he heard the sort of puff of ice behind him and he did turn back and see the sort of uh, mage back there sort of getting obliterated by the Barbara explosion. Goes, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and then, let's see Please if blink. I blink. I blink. God, yeah. <laughs> Please blink. Uh, I just see it. <laughs> Here I am still. <laughs> he hears the voice. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, okay, that's my turn. Oh, okay. After Orba is uh, uh, Erlen. All right, death saving throw, sir. Oh, they pass. They pass. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. This is going. Does that take us two? Better than I could have been. It's my boy is dead, so it's. Doesn't fear. matter. It's fear, you're out. Uh, so I'm gonna run to a point where I can I see them. The now, am I 60 feet away <laughs> from the guy that's closest, the foot soldier that's closest to Erlen there? So 30 feet. Oh, takes so that, that's yeah. That's a weirdly up in here. Hold on. Oh my goodness, look at me. It's having you go over Fly. There. Stop it. Stay on the ridge. There. I'm okay. like a bird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, how dare you. Okay. I know. 30 feet gets you up to this first and I, step Am I now here. within 60 feet of this guy? Of uh, which guy? Foot the foot shoulder or that's by Erlen. Uh, yes, 40 feet away. Okay. Fantastic. Just, great. Yeah. Okay, I am going for two. Uh, first, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I'm going to go ahead and cast Healing Spirit, uh, level two spell, right. so that I can get Erlen up here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that on him. Yes. God damn it. Sorry, only four. Fucking, I'm alive. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take a second um, and I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Can't. Oh, uh, uh, can't. That's right. I forgot. I just did a d bonus action. Yeah. But I am going to activate Animus and I'm gonna fire at this foot soldier okay, right so here. Foot soldier. The uh, the foot soldier has partial cover. The archer does not, just from the angle. So just letting you know that if that uh, affects you. You're Which firing like cover? up here just because she's firing up through the rock yeah, there. He does not. Plus a lot of AC. Let me just take a second and look at my movement here. Yeah, that's okay. Um, You've I'll used still... 30 feet of movement already. I mean, I... I'm gonna take the disadvantage shot or the. It's not disadvantage, it's just with I'm extra AC. I'm gonna take the shot at the guy. You may do so. Big numbers, no whammy. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two to That'll hit. I'll do it. Oh, yes! so a dirty twenty with partial cover. <laughs> okay, uh, eleven. That's eleven piercing. Damage. He's hurt. 
Um, okay. He's hurt, so I'm right. Really he's still hurt. Yes, he is. Yeah, he doesn't have a total on okay. him. Okay, um, that's uh, fifteen total piercing oh, damage. Fucking um, okay, so now <laughs> I am activated. I'm in Animus. I always what fucking forget to do this, and I should have done this on my second shot, like a smart person. No, in this instance, no. Okay. Um, you just might miss the second shot. Oh, yeah. Right? That's true. Yeah. That's uh, good to do it with you. Yeah, 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 I know. So, okay. <laughs> I am a wolf, like, bear. I'm all of them. What's the body? I don't know. I'm all of Body bear, head of a bear. Body, body of a bear, oh, head of a wolf, mind of a turtle. Yeah. Oh, hi. It's a fear here. Heart of Okay. Uh, so, your, you have that kind of lingering spiritual energy here. As Sabira activates the Animus Bow, Orba, who's wandering through the ethereal plane, you watch like just a Sephira appear. She's just kind of floating in space. So she doesn't react at all. Sephira. But she just, her, her sort of consciousness flits into the ethereal plane. Oh my god. So the two of you can sort of weirdly see each other here. Or Sephira can't see you. Okay, cool. So um, you appear in bear form. Can I, I, do, I don't remember if we made a rule about this. Can I make an attack now? Or since um, I have if multi the, attack? Does the animal, did he you does. choose multi attack? Yes, I did. You can make a second okay. attack then, yes. Uh, Only oh, it's so okay. hot. That's good. Hey, okay. man, I'm up. I'm up. Erwin's out. Uh, uh, you're you're prone. still laying down, you are. Shoot. But no, I'm, but I put, like, put some color in <laughs> oh my gosh. You're she going. Woo! <laughs> 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 That's a Down elf on the floor. Hit. That, uh, the arc, that oh no, that misses. That's the foot soldier. <laughs> that will miss. Yeah. So he watches the bear appear and immediately puts his shield up and boom, feels the claw on the other side of his okay. shield. He poops okay. his pants. Um, <laughs> he might have. Okay, great. Then that's that's it. Okay. All right, after Sephira, it is the foot soldier. Okay. Watching the uh, bear up here next to him. Okay, he's gonna. Thank you, friend. So he's gonna take uh, one attack what on each here. Fucking asshole. There's a bear next to you. With advantage on Erland and then a straight oh, roll on Sephira. Oh, the spirit was still I'm gonna do Sephira first. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, You're gonna use your brain heal. The right guy. Do the toys on me. Okay. That's her thing. Oh, come on, come on. Um, 14 to hit. Oh, that hit this! <laughs> what? <laughs> on Sephira. No, no, no! no! <laughs> I turned him toward the bear. That hits. That hits. <laughs> Don't you feel like a fool? Take up oh, shitty roll five piercing damage. Cool. He sticks okay. with the spear and then comes down up over the top to try and stick Earl with the other end of the spear there. Okay. With advantage. Yeah. Uh, uh, t dirty twenty to hit. Nice. Hey, all the everybody's doing it. Everybody's going down twice. Yeah. Seven piercing damage. Yes. Yeah. God damn it! He sort of looks around. It sucks. <sighs> it's <okay. laughs> I don't know what it's like. And he's gonna start to move. Um, so we're gonna attack of opportunity. Attack opportunity. Um, do we get two because I have a multi attack? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. That would <laughs> be cool. Not uh, nice. Twenty four to that hit. Will hit. <laughs> okay. I always forget how much damage I do. Two d six. It is. Uh, it just doesn't help that I forget. Uh, yes, it's two d six plus, strength plus my strength, which right now is three. Um, ooh. ooh. 14 piercing damage. 14 piercing damage? One big claw oh! to the back, and you literally, with the strength of the bear paw, you like, his back plate of his breastplate oh! like tears, oh! oh! And you see the claws kind of rip into his back, and he goes sliding across the rock Have yourself there. a turn. <laughs> yes! Archer! <laughs> Can I kind of take a second afterwards to like, almost like a gorilla kind of ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Like at the Turn down guy. where the rock gorilla. <laughs> bear gorilla, bear turtle. Okay, <laughs> who's next? It's a fucking zoo. Uh, Graven. Graven's up. Um, with... 30 feet of movement, can I get to where I can see him? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, this is not like full, we'll say you're able to get to the top here with okay. your movement. And can I see the archer? Um, give me a perception check, it's not a great angle. <laughs> that's oh! Because that's what I do. So as he he looks like he's turning to flee and he's getting closer to the edge, so you okay. can see him just there on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, really shit, you're gonna get the last yeah. <laughs> I will... <laughs> Do I go silly, stupid? No. Um, I'm going to toll the dead. Toll the dead. What kind of wisdom save? Wisdom save. 19. <laughs> Come on, bro. Should've he will silly, save. Silly. I should have gone silly. In his infinite wisdom of fleeing from the bear, <laughs> yeah. he saves. Uh, so that's all my movement, right? Yep. Then I, that's it for me. Okay. All right, Archer. 
The archer, all right, he's gonna start to run here. Yeah, oh, you better run, you're not going anywhere. Feet. Actually, maybe you are because I can't move that fast. Uh, Can you aim uh, him and he's gonna turn around um, and I not even shoot splint, splint. He's gonna stop before he gets all the way down. Fire back at the bear. So it turns around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 12 to hit. 12 hits. Okay. That's not very good. No, I know. 10 <laughs> piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> and uh, as he makes that last five, he just gets down off that ledge there. Okay, that's it. All right, Orba. All right. Bye, Sivira. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I see where this guy is? If you move up a little bit, he's kind yeah, of through sure. the trees let's, there. Yeah, sure. Let's use full movement to get... <laughs> 30 feet gets you up there. You can definitely see. All right. Kind of here. Yeah, I you can see like yeah, the I mean, I'm there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you can see him from there. Nice. Uh, yeah, she's gonna come poking around from behind the ridge there and just hi. And she's gonna cast. Ooh, what do we cast at this boy? Oh my God. What do we do? Something nasty. We're just gonna do another ice knife at level one this okay. time. Uh, attack. That's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, so he'll take D10. Where's my T on? Can't, I, no, I just can't read these dice. <laughs> oh, max roll, so 10 ice. Okay, wow. And then, and then it explodes. Oh, piercing damage, sorry. And then 2D6 cold. Exactly, so right. 2D6. Five. Five additional? Oh, wait. You have to make a dexterity saving throw first. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> she gets a reroll. I mean, keep the damn. That's right. She gets a reroll. Um, uh, uh, 13. Fails. So, yeah, you take a, a little bit of An additional five. five. Okay, great. He's at, the, at this like spot, he kind of stepped over the body of the last guy that went down to kind of the ice. Okay. And then before her blink possibly activates, she's going to say, You can't run! <gasps> oh, that is. <laughs> The stuff of oh no, a seven! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for it, and it doesn't come out and stays That's there. Stupid. Hello! Stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who's next? Do you have any movement? It's me. Oh my gosh. Right. Another death save. And a natural it. 20! Oh, oh. when Erlen brings oh. himself up to oh. straight up up. Right. Yes. yes. Oh. We're back into consciousness. That was just two. It's two deaths fails on a natural one. But you come back with one HP on a natural twenty. Oh, <laughs> Erlen no. willing himself back. Into this is in the chat. Oh, it's that. It's it's that is the way to do it. Okay, it is the way. All right, after Erlen. Erlen. that's the end of my turn, though. Yeah, uh, Sephira. Yeah, it's me. Okay, um, I'm gonna Wait. seeing Erlen to get up. I'm gonna activate the healing spirit to just go some. ahead and zhuzh him because second. why the heck not? It's running. It's out. just gonna go to waste. Oh, good. You Great. get three HP. Yeah, um, a solid four HP. Okay, can I just drop the Animus form? As a bonus action, you can, yeah. Great, I'm gonna drop the Animus form. You already used the bonus action. And are you... Do you go back? Oh, oh, shit, I used a bonus action to heal him. Does it take a bonus action? Because this isn't the turn that you cast it. Does it still um, take actually, a yeah, I don't know if it takes Until a bonus the spell action to activate it. You can cause the spirit. It does not take an action oh, okay. once you already once have it up. It's already activated. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. So then I'm, I am going to use a bonus action to just drop Animus. So also, um, you can, with Terminal Rebound, choose to go back to the spot you fired from or in the spot that you're in. You get to choose. Uh, yeah, I would like to. St uh, well, where am I closer to? I think I'm closer to him if I just stay where I am. Yeah, by a little bit. You're okay, then I'm gonna up. stay where I am, and I have a bit of a you know elevated sort Great. of height on him. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead yeah, and come back here. I like this dude. Take easier. a shot at him. Treat yourself. Get this. Oops, I need to unhide here. Let's that is bear. A 19 to hit. Give me one right. second. So sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. Unhide, Sapir. Unhide. There. Sapir, come back. What's up? Uh, 19 will hit, yes, go 19 ahead. 19 will hit, okay. Oh my, oh gosh. my god. Treat yourself. Is that another Smell max roll? And damage. just as he's hopping from this ah, rock ah. to the next one, you little bitch! Okay! His little pith helmet kind of clatters across the ground there. And finally, a little bit of quiet in this area. And that's where we're going to take a break ah, as we can move this combat here. You guys were that tracked was down a, a little bit. Fucking combat. Listen. <laughs> you read I brought I tried, I, I four times basically. I brought you back. Basically, he four did, times. I did one myself. Three times. <laughs> three times. I can res myself if I have to. 
And they told me not to get the cure wounds. So if anyone dies, it's. The cure wounds it's, wouldn't have. I, I, yeah, you, you would actually. To, you would have to take an action. He's right. To cure touch. wounds wouldn't have helped. And that's that double the spell slot. What? Too. MVP. Well done. <laughs> I didn't think about that. The bandits that have tracked you down are no more. And you guys sort of guys. surveying yeah. the land here. That's where we're gonna take a quick break. Thank you all, everybody, yeah, so much yes. for helping us. We'll be right back. Come back right after the break oh, to let the group regroup, and then we will continue our journey further east. God damn it. See you guys on the other side. See ya. Snooze time. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for that <laughs> almond-sponsored break. <laughs> Did you actually Ooh, put that? They were in my teeth. Yeah, of course I did. Oh, okay. oh, good. So I didn't just say that. <laughs> I know, yeah. That's what I was worried that she didn't say it, so. Uh, uh, okay, welcome back, everybody, to Tabletop Notch, chapter 30 of season two of Peak Beneath the Veil. A successful combat. The bandits had tracked us here to this little secret cache, and they didn't go down without a fight, but we have emerged victorious. A nice little debut of the blink spell. Someone yeah. mentioned that the odds were quite low that she got all those blinks off, like, in a row. Yeah, love stabs. And then the Safira chat. truly coming in clutch with the heals and the damage. Oh, baby. All coming at once. <laughs> but before we dive back in... I got things to say. Oh, please do. Okay, oh. gotta scroll, and the bits are not on the fritz. Oh my very goodness! Exciting. So why don't you shut up and play the hits? Oh my god, I hate you. You've been thinking of that for <laughs> six and a half days, haven't you? We're going back to break. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus gave out a community sub. Stung resubscribed. GF Powers resubscribed. Jellybug resubscribed. And anonymous gifter did two subs. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh, Scorpina. Oh, god damn it, Scorpina Gillespie resubscribed. Just, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. I don't know. I said, I said that like I totally Gillespie. knew that was. Gillespie. 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 Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Flipshot resubscribed. <laughs> Zogdy indeed did 10 bits. Broken Dragon Sailed did 500 bits. Ali Slayer did 100 bits. Broken hey. Dragon Sailed did 10,000 bits. Oh, Ali oh, Slayer resubscribed. Boney Jabroni did 400 bits. Pokadoka gifted a sub. Ali Slayer did 100 bits. And Jeremiah gave out a community sub. Thanks. Shout out to Jeremiah and Dude who are our time oh, yes. As always, they up. are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They do. All right, everybody. More ground to cover here <laughs> in the peninsula on our way to Finlock Forest. So you guys, you're sort of breathing heavy. Graven, last one, kind of up the side of the cliff there, pulls himself up, and everybody reconverges there on the top of that little ridge before you slide down. Is everyone all right? Just barely. Fuck's sake. Make way back to the path. You see you Orba. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like blinking. She blinks oh, three more times God. as she like gets closer to you all. Hey. <laughs> shit. That's this... fucking incredible. You all right. Did you see that? Yeah, that's yes. really good. Really good. If you could do that. You can't do that forever. Can you just forever? No, I wish I could. Oh, I saw sake. you though. I saw you in the ethereal plane. What? When you activate your bow. Hang on. You, yeah. When you activate your bow, your, your like oh, I, something, your I, spirit or whatever I, is, is with me when I'm in there. You weren't paying attention to me, but I could see you. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see you. No. Oh, well, that's... Well, I would hope you would see You're the enemy. through the bear's eyes. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean that the animals are in the ethereal plane now and you simply yeah, so swap with them? Yeah, I think we just switch places. I think that's exactly how I bet that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's is really cool. Okay. Is this some sort of ability? Like, I, they couldn't oh. see you either. It wasn't just me not being able oh, to see Oh, yeah, no, you. I, I, I have blink. I can blink now. It's, uh, I don't know how you are feeling. Awful, terrible. You yes. don't, they look worse than me. Oh, I we, feel like shit. We've got to rest. We have to get we somewhere safe. Get we can't away from here. here. We have to get far away. There could be more. And rest. Okay, can we investigate the bodies first? And I, yes, yes. They, they would have Raven. brought as many people as they could yes. to, for this amount of- should probably do of... your thing. What's my thing? <laughs> the, the group Mark the body, Graven. The thing, the thing that you have to do with the, the fucking thing, you know. Uh, or was gonna grab Sephira <laughs> and lead her to a body to help her investigate it. Okay. Investigation checks for anyone looking around. Uh, so if there's how many bodies are there? Uh, I guess uh, no. three people, right? And then oh two dogs. Yeah. If I go to one that, Jesus. if they go to other ones, then I go to one that's you know not with anybody else. Mm -hmm. Well. Hmm. 21. 21. 7. 16. 17. 17. You guys rummage through the bodies. You have a little bit of time here. You you feel the urgency of time, but not so much that you feel like, again, as Raven mentioned, like, presumably, especially if the foot soldier 
and possibly the archer was in the fight before, they knew you guys were powerful. So they thought maybe they could come ambush you, but they were unlikely to underestimate you given that they had mm -hmm. sort of already fought you. So you're reasonably confident that there aren't sort of reinforcements immediately upon the horizon. You take your time to oh. rummage through the bodies. They have no gold or anything on them. It seems like these, when they have stuff, they throw it into one of these maybe secret stashes that are sort of throughout the, it's possible you took some of their money from the stash that you just got from. But one thing you do find of note, in addition to, I mean, if you wanted to take any of their armor or weapons or anything, none of which looks magical in any way, is some kind of, on the uh, guy that threw the bomb that was in the robe, some kind of marking or drawing of some kind. Uh, who You have the 21 or something, I think so. Erlen's the one who picks it out of the um, And I can actually... He just turned that in every direction. <laughs> and and uh, while uh, Earl is like examining stuff, can Orbis start dragging those bodies into the cave? You can, yeah. yeah. You can start to do that. Uh, Erlen, do you have something there? What the fuck? I don't what know. Do you, what is it? It's, it's kind of confusing is what it is. Am I an idiot? I don't know. Yes. Am I an idiot? Graven, are you an idiot? What is it? No, well, I'm just out. saying, I, I can't make any sense of that, can you? Which There's the side is up? that they're looking at? We are looking down. What? We are looking down upon stairs and trees. Hey, idiots. And a bridge, idiots. You want to get out your contracts of the shit list? And see oh. if it matches any of the landmarks? Yes. So yes, I like do. We are looking down. Yes. Thin bridge over a moat leads to main entrance, several tall cylindrical pillars. It's that one. It's oh, not those are not cylindrical pillars. I don't see any cylindrical pillars. What's yours? Oh, uh, it's not mine. Uh, the lanes are a series of mini canyons you can pass through on your way east. The fort, wait, hang on. The fort is built into the cliffside. Staircase leads up. Is that what this looks like? I do, it looks like a staircase leading up to me. What is that thing okay. in the middle? Uh, a wall, a, 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 sh a structure. Well, yours is, describe the people. Would that, you like to know the, the, what's oh. the most funny there? What's, it's bandits, guard dogs, uh, comedons. I don't know what those are. Uh, potentially, we could get uh, whatever ben, uh, items the bandits looted, armor, weapons, possibly magic. Um, is that not what we've just done? We've just killed all of these people and but looted their- But that location. But this was their cache. Well, if that's their cache and we've already killed them, then actually maybe it would serve us well to go there. Or. However, what I... What were those creatures called we just fought? Uh, Lucratos. Where's the letter we got uh, off of the people we killed like an hour ago? Not these people, but their friends. Uh, Who has that one? Fuck's sake. I'm gonna start rushing. Uh, I got it, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, Graven just looks around him like... Uh, it, this could, it, well, okay. Oh. Somebody named Elroy, Elbatross, LaRue, left a note with the mage we killed, saying uh -huh. this is where their stash is. He's possibly not dead here, so what if this is just another one of their um, camps? What if this is like a big, you know, collection of bandits? That sounds, that sounds potentially accurate to me. I don't know. Wait, you know? I might have had it upside down. Hang on. It might not be a bridge, it might be a pillar. Fort is but built into circular. the cliffside staircase no. leads up. That's We're what it says. Landing stairs oh, at the bottom. Yeah, totally. All right. Look at it as though this it, yeah. is a pillar that is holding up this platform. Oh, the stairs. Oh, that come up the right. A circle at the bottom. Oh yes, of course. That makes sense now. Obviously, <laughs> Detective Graven. <laughs> Detective oh, Graven. Oh, oh. He's an <laughs> idiot. Yes. Um. Okay. So, Orba. Huh? That still could be. Wait, hmm? What's no, yours? no, it says, it says, fort is built into the cliffside, yeah, staircase, staircase leads, leads up. up. And the entrance to said staircase is in this red circled area. Yeah. Like, it right. seems like in order to get there, you have to go into there, and then you perhaps arrive above, well, or the inside, or that's where the stash is. Yes. Yes. Stash. So, Orba. So uh, what else do we yeah. look for? You keep saying my name. I was gonna ask, do you think we should go to try to find a place to rest and then try to figure out if we can't get what's in this stash? Yeah, we got to find where that would be. Commodore. There are probably more bandits and other, this is probably, um, they probably sent, if they're camped here, they probably sent out a, a group of people to attack us. And this is the full group of people that we've now killed. If I kind of look around, do I see anything that resembles like a series of mini canyons? Um, not here where you are okay. at the moment, no. I think we head back to the, that, 
Emmett was quite clear that if you stay on the roads, you will see these identifiers. Possibly, yes. So we should head back so to the road. So we should head back to the road we are taking, try and take a, a we brief We need a rest. rest. We absolutely need a rest. Not exactly where we meet the road. No, no, no. What, find a but, safe place, yes. rest briefly, certainly before we try and take any of this on. Absolutely. This on. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, if, if we... I'll take some notes of how people looked in case I need to disguise myself, if, if there are oh, some in this camp. Oh, that's very small. Do you have anyone's name? Uh, the only one that is the one that signed the note, Elroy Albatross. We don't know what he looks like. Was oh, well. addressed to anyone? No, there was no. I suppose you don't have to give your name. You can do kind of one of those things Could. where you say, oh, Elroy told me, and then knowing someone else's name can... But what know. if he goes, yes, I'm Elroy, you idiot? Uh, we don't have to start planning that now. I just mean I know what people look like at least. Could Albatross be a former... Operative name. Oh, it's Holy in parentheses. Shit. Actually, yeah, fucking genius. Well, then we're Raven. definitely gonna need to fucking rest before we see. go to this fucking place. I'm just saying that how many people have we come across that have? I mean, that would explain why they perhaps knew about the sounds. Yeah, that was no right fucking story. way. You think that there's some odds that there's a former operative among these people who knows that there's a chimera that this guy's looking for? If the chimera is being stalled with the operatives, honestly, that would be at, crazy. At this point, aren't I'd operatives anything. based out of the shade assembly often? Yes. But they don't know about each other's contracts sometimes. But odd operatives are. It was a stupid idea. Uh, I liked it. Anyways, <clears throat> okay, so. Let's go put these bodies in there. Maybe it's okay. like a warning sign to say... You don't have oh, to be an, it doesn't have to be an animal name for your nickname for the shape no. of something. You want a bum slave. Mm. Bum slave was one of them. You want to drag the bodies into... The feathered bum the slave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can drag two, but I need, I'm gonna... I need one to stay out. No, oh, it has to stay out for the thing. Why does that matter? Just take two. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start dragging the body mm. towards sort of... Slowly, mm. you drag it down that kind of steep slope there. <laughs> into the cave, sort of throw it underneath that uh, table that was in there where the sort of puzzle took place. It's while they're while they're doing that, if they've all teamed up to do that. I am very uh, weak and could use this. Yeah, I, I will help Orba. <laughs> oh, wait, are you take, I'm you're helping taking the body. two bodies of the cave. Yeah. Oh, so you're helping, okay, I'll take the other body. Okay. Graven will kind of kneel down next to the last one. lost your possessions and your life. Was it worth it? Burning hands. Yeah, burning hands on his, right in the middle of his forehead. Ooh. Watch the brand appear, and as you pull the the pendant away, like the skin stuck to it a little bit, it kind of Ooh. peels a little bit off his forehead. From half mark of Kuzni, and you feel once again the warmth of Kuzni's blessing. You have inspiration. Whoa. Thank you. Shit. <clears throat> Leaving it out on the rock there. Just, yep. Which one did you pick? The um, I meant maybe the, the, the magic the, user. The mage yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Just wait finish your business. Wait for them to yep. come back because they've they come, come in this. Yeah, direction. they pulled the body back down and then <clears throat> trekking back up the little slope there, and they meet back up. Okay. Okay, so heading back to the road. Yeah. Let's uh, keep our eyes out. Quietly, and, yes, quietly. Yes, um, I'm gonna make sure since we're moving, are we moving now in my favorite terrain? You've been in the coast. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna you've say, been so we've been. You haven't gone inland enough for it. So in that case, I wanna make sure that uh, we're not slowed. <laughs> we can't become lost. I am alert to danger even when I am engaged in another activity. Mm. And you feel very alert. I personally can move stealthily at a normal pace. You, you guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> Not when you're with us, though. Well, yes, I can. I just have to walk ahead of you. Alone, though, wouldn't that mean like? I mean, it's a judgment call. Like. She has to be alone, as in, like, you guys not following her. But, yeah, as soon okay. as you separate from the party, you can Boo. travel quickly while stealthily. Uh, so as we're moving, then, I want to make sure I'm looking around for a place that seems well-covered, that we can spend a few oh. hours resting. Give me a survival check. With advantage? Not with advantage. Proficiency doubled because of the favorite trick. So plus three? An additional plus three on top of her already. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... Oh. Smug six. Smug. Wait. <laughs> Whatever your plus is on nature, 
What's your proficiency? <laughs> no, survival. Whatever your survival oh, survivor, is. Sorry. Add another three to your survival. Oh. It's 26. 26. 26. <laughs> Severe leading the way confidently through this environment that she feels very comfortable in. She, you guys don't head kind of directly <clears throat> back following those little crab symbols, but she leads you on a just slight offward trajectory just to make sure that you don't kind of bump up into anyone coming through that same exact way. And as she does so, there's a number of those kind of little ridges that dip okay, up and so down Okay, so now I'm starting bit. to see the peaks and valleys. Uh, no, <laughs> it, it, it is not nearly that pronounced. Oh. He literally had like a name for it, like the lanes, like these oh, deep okay, kind of okay. up and down. No, I'm talking about just little ups and downs of the terrain as you guys are heading back toward the path, and you're keeping an eye out for like a little nook where you guys uh, can Yeah, a good yes. place to rest. And after a couple kind of ups and downs, you see another kind of slope that then kind of dips into a little circle of shrubbery and bushes that if you kind of went down into that area, you'd be pretty much surrounded on all sides except directly above you. So okay. a good little spot to hunker down. Okay, uh, knowing that the only place that's uncovered is above me, I want to take a good look up above us to make sure that yeah. there's nothing the, nesting. The forestation here is not so thick. There is, there's barely any canopy above you, even as you're... Okay. Uh, what do we think? Uh, I think this is a good place. For a little rest? Yeah. Yes. Okay. An hour? Sure. Sure. Graven? What? You all right to rest? Yes. Okay. We need verbal confirmation, Graham. Oh, yes. All right. Thank we you. rest now. Okay. All and right. We're finding a very nice, safe spot for you. You may dice. roll your head dice. Short rest. Oh, uh, I think short uh, rest. Uh, is there even a point for me rolling head dice? So you get a d6? Shut up. <laughs> is it plus? What's your constitution? Is it zero? Yeah. <laughs> wow. First d10 hit dice. Ooh, yeah. It will be a 10. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Show the street. I didn't see it. <laughs> it looked like an eight because it's got a little poke in the middle, but oh, yeah. it was. Remember, you only have one I know, d10. I know. Though, yeah. Oh, that's cool. But, but still add your constitution model. Yeah, so I got 13 from that one, one roll. roll. Yep. Nice. Spin it a couple, fat 16. Couple more. Animus is refreshed again. Yep. When we, on the long rests now, we Short get. Rest. But no, no, no. On the oh. long rests, when we get our hit dice back, we get. Half. My, half rounded down, so rounded three. Down. Yeah. But oh. you're at six. It's your total three level. Back. Yeah. yeah. Baby. All right. Uh, Fuck. Fuck. And. <laughs> Okay. All right. Use my whole girdle. Seven and seven is four. Girdling while I was in the corner there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was. Uh, I is got there anything you'd like to examine during the short rest? I would love to examine the. Can, if she does one, can I do another? You can. It's an Arcana check. I might as well try. You can. Yeah, I guess it's not gonna. Burst it's not gonna in a ball of flame or something. Is right? it? <laughs> not that you're. It's not like a percentile <laughs> below twenty that I fuck it up. You may both make Arcana check. Who's uh, examining what? Uh, I'll do the bag. Okay. Two okay, friends. Yes. Nice left right now. Okay. I'm out of hit And I killed only the four. All right. Arcana. Um, a little bit of house rules on that. Uh, me. Uh, twelve on the okay. bag. I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> Dude. Is that a hit dice or the? It's a hit oh, dice. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And then go ahead and give me your ass. And your no. Sorry, I'm still. It's okay. I'm doing two more. I already took one. I know you did. <laughs> oh my pleasure. <sighs> still hit die? Yes. I can't tell what's happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. All right. I have um, 22 HP right now. Me too. Um, I used Arcana my check. entire girdle and the rest of my hit die to get there. You used up all 15. 15. Okay, both of you. Ooh. Sitting and having a little bit of time to examine, and the, it's actually quite peaceful here. If you, you know, if you weren't worried about bandits, the sort of serenity around you, the nature, you can hear the sounds of animals and birds just kind of in the distance, and it helps you just focus and examine the items. Graven, you find this to be an ejecting scabbard. <laughs> oi, 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 oi! <laughs> it has these kind of little mechanical dials on it. Mechanical looking scabbard helps juggle the use of multiple weapons. When you attune to this item, choose a one-syllable command word. While attuned to the scabbard, it forms to the shape of any sword you place inside it that doesn't have the two-handed trait. 
when you speak the command word, the scabbard ejects the weapon in a way that makes it easy to catch Shut and use it. Up. It lets you swap weapons without it being an action. So it lets you swap the weapons. In addition, when you use the, the first time you use it each day to sort of shoot the sword out and use it, you have advantage on that attack when you Wow, oh. that's pretty so, sick. Yeah, so it's your melee weapon goes in that, yeah. so you can switch without using an action. Yes, it no longer yeah. takes an action to swap weapons if you're oh, it, so you're it lets you put the bow away and it goes shoot and then you go catch and that's, that's fun. Fun. with an advantage yeah. advantage yeah. on the attack. Yeah. If you're very nice <laughs> to me, I'll let you have it. Orva discovers the brisk bottle bag. When you reach for this bag, your hand accelerates as if being pulled by an unseen force. Oh. While holding one of the bottles uh, contained within, your arm moves unnaturally quickly. The bag contains two bottles, two glass bottles inside, that can be filled with any liquid. A creature attuned to the bag can consume one of the bottled liquids as a bonus action instead of an action. So it lets you drink a oh, potion shit. as a bonus action instead of an action. Wow. Oh. It has to be one of the two bottles, so you have to like keep refilling yeah, them. But, yeah. yeah, still pretty neat. Did you get cold stuff? <sighs> Yes. Yeah? Uh, I don't know how useful it is for me, but I think Safira might be able to use it. Oh, really? Oh, whoa. As the only person here who fights with a sword. What can I use? This. Oh. You could, in a pinch, kind put your bow away. Like... Well, now, the caveats. I don't know if you've ever attuned to something, but you're going to have to spend some time with that scabbard before it'll work for you. But if you attune to it, You'll be able to eject your sword into your hand, put your bow away, and strike true on that first. Oh, well, right. Continue. A short rest. A short rest. Well, can I have it? It's yours, yes. Oh, right. No so sword. you can't use the uh, magic part of it without being attuned, but if you take can the I sword that you have, now? you would have to take another hour. It would oh, have to be I a see. separate short rest. But as you take your sword, you can use it as a standard scabbard for now. Okay. And as you take your sword and you move it in, you watch as it like widens. Like it has these little gears and dials oh, that like. Cool. Oh, and as you insert so the sword, cool. it like fits itself to the Fuck sword. Yeah. So it has this kind of perfect right. kind of mechanical. Uh, kind of notching it in. <laughs> and you've got to. Uh, it was good. Yeah. Thanks. You've got to. As you attune to it, you'll have to come up with a command word. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> cool. Uh oh. What's Don't make be? that the word. <laughs> well, no. I, well, does it know that now? Is no, that what it's gonna? Not until you attune. It has to be a word that you wouldn't say otherwise. Otherwise, your sword will come well, flying. How often out. do I really say cool? But okay. Oh, Fairly like, often. Do I? Yes. If you're looking at something interesting, you can more go, than cool. you would and say. Then, uh, think. Uh, it'll shoot out. <laughs> well, what do I say? Fiddlesticks. No. Something you would never say. Maybe. Maybe. I usually maybe don't I think it says one syllable though. Actually. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it says one syllable. A shorter word. Syllable word you never say. One syllable word I never say. Oh fuck. I say that all the time. She was joking. Oh. You can severe like, <laughs> like you, you can just see the gears start to turn. You've got some time to think about I, it. She's like, I can't even hear you. She's so concentrated thinking about it. Does anybody want to know what mine was? Yes. yes. Okay, so you can wear this and you have to attune to it as well, but um, it allows you to ingest potions swiftly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do you hmm. want that? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you could stick your rioth roots in there, yes? Potions. It does have to be a liquid. The right. rioth root. Oh, oh, it's a distilled, distilled rioth Yeah, distilled yes. rioth oh, right? I possibly I think you guys have, have physical rioth Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can think about it. It could benefit all of us, so. But we'd have to attune to it, so. Sure. You can't administer it swiftly. Just no. drink swiftly. Yes. Uh, not as cool. <laughs> Drinkers! Fing! Bog! Potion your scabbard just to shoot it off your shoulder. Oh, tuned to boat. Well, well, we can think about it. It doesn't have to happen now. Right, right. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Cool stuff. Uh, should we stock, actually, should we stock that and have it on someone, even if, just in case? Well, we they I guess need I another hour I suppose two. it doesn't matter. It doesn't should we matter. take it? Does it save a slot, though? Is that, the, how many slots is, is it like, that is that? Uh, it, it sort of, so the bag itself is a medium, but anything, yeah. potions contained within take no slots because it's part mm. of the bag. So, so you could use so. that to store some stuff right now. Yeah. Save some oh, slots. if I just like wear it's it? It's a net minus one slots, because yeah, the bag's three. Yeah, is a one slot yeah. anyway. Yeah, so but you, still, yeah. it's better it's than safe. having to have the bag and two extra yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna tune to it yet, but I guess we'll yeah. wear it. You can, yeah, of course. You can sling it over your shoulder. We have time to attune, we can take it. Okay, um, 
All right. Shall we go? Among those platinum rings that we found, do any of them yeah. fit you? Um, I don't know. Or we'll start trying to... They're a little big for your fingers. It would fit around your thumb. Like one of them fits around your thumb. Okay. Sick-ass <laughs> thumb ring. Is there a very large one that might fit me? <laughs> that one of the largest <laughs> one might, like, fits your pinky pretty comfortably and then maybe your ring finger if you kind of oh pour it on there. <laughs> we got all our men wearing pinky rings. In this <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so classy. I, I spoke <laughs> once about a spell that I could cast. As long as we're wearing these platinum rings, I might have that ability. What's the spell again? It, it creates a ward between us. Any damage you take, I would take half of it upon myself. Instead. Oh, I like that. Oh, that sounds terrible. No, it sounds lovely. Oh. The option would be there. I'd have to prepare the spell anyway. For what it's worth, I like it. I, it, we are, it is Over. in the docket. Over. I don't like She won't have a choice if she's wearing a ring. Ha, I like that. She can. It's <laughs> <laughs> stuck on your finger. Just, yeah. just hold on to it for now. Actually, you might have to be a willing creature, so. Fine, I'll think about it. Think about it. Okay. Gods. Everybody rested? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Still don't feel great, but rested. Uh, tough, we've got to keep moving. Truly, truly, I don't know about uh, it. Blood, what if it's blood? What if the word's blood? Oh, there's blood on me. Shing! No, but I don't usually a say, oh, there's you... blood on me. Whatever, I'll we keep, th I'm, oh, they're clearly frustrated. <laughs> As you guys start to walk, Sabir takes up the rear, she's like muttering. Your... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> we just hear random Yeah, words. like thinking about all the words it could be. So you guys heading kind of generally back, merging with the past, yes. heading east. The trip back through the woods is, Kind of a brief one. You've already traveled part of the way here to find this spot that you're in. But you can sense a little bit of adrenaline from your companions, a little spirited boost stemming from both a little bit of rest, the physical acquisition, acquisition of some valuables, but also the fact that you feel like you've overcome what was perhaps kind of a first big test here as you move further and further east. You knew that there were gonna be maybe some bandits and stuff and you weren't exactly sure how strong they would or wouldn't be and you've overcome that test thus far. Oh dang. With the, sun, with the sun still shining bright, it's sort of past the apex, but still up there shining into the later afternoon, it casts kind of patterned shadows over your clothing and your skin, passing through the leaves overhead. And there's a pleasant stretch of walking where the intimacy of these shadows kind of combines with the crisp coastal air, it makes it seem just for brief moments here and there that you're maybe traveling for pleasure and not for purpose. <laughs> it's the kind of day where as a child you'd beg a parent or a guardian to let you take the horse out of the stables for an afternoon ride. <laughs> About another hour's gone by and you get to a point where the terrain looks like it's gonna force you to make a choice. One way forward maintains a steady elevation moving through this woodland trail, whereas the other to the left kind of dips down and curls a bit, kind of moving a little closer to the rocky bluffs down by the shore. There's a small brown and black speckled thrush perched upon a wooden post that looks like it's been jammed into the ground where the roads diverge. And it looks like this post maybe once had a sign on it, but it's broken off either intentionally or by the passing of time. So the bird just kind of and then flip flitters away. But can we see if this if there's any um if that broken sign if, is around that area of I mean, investigation check? Six. Six. I mean, Erlen starts to kick we through some that. of the leaves and branches there. You don't find anything of that kind. Shit, where... Uh, Sophia, what does your... What, what does the um, shit list say? Uh, okay, it says, um, the lanes are a series of mini canyons and you may pass through on your way east. You uh, survival check with the description link. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. That's your favorite terrain. No, hold on, hold on. 16. 16? <laughs> that was a disappointment. Yeah, 16. 16. Well, I didn't. <laughs> what? It was great. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> so, as you sort of are reading the description, you're kind of looking to the left path, looking over to the right path, sort of marrying what you've read from the notes with what you're seeing before you. And as you're looking off to the right path, the one that doesn't kind of curl toward the coast, you see the hills start to become very steep and then dip, and steep and dip. Yeah. 
possibly some of these canyon-esque lanes okay. that the thing's referring to. In addition to that, as you peer off into the left side, you see off in the distance a little bit, perhaps a creature sort of seeing something that it was unfamiliar with. There's a piece of wood a little bit down the path, maybe oh. 50 feet, that looks like it has maybe a big sort of splintered bite mark in it, like something kind of <laughs> grabbed it and walked down a little bit and then kind of spat it out by the ground. So there's a piece of sign or something down there. Okay. Well, uh, sign. it looks like if we go off this path towards the right, that's where the lanes seem to begin. So how are we feeling? Is there a creature that hit the sign that you can see? You don't see the I creature. Don't... There's nothing here. No. Just that I mean, I can see that something passed through here. Right, but is that a piece of this broken sign? Could we get more sense of Perhaps what we this could take said? a look. Sure, yes. yeah, let's take a look. Let's be careful. 30, 40 feet ahead of you. It's not far. She sort of spotted it there on the ground. And you pick it up, and it's a little bit heavy, and it looks like it's certainly been broken long enough that like some plants have started to kind of grow over the edges. You have to kind of pry it loose from the grasses. And you hold it up, and it looks like it's pointing off to the left. There's no indication pointing off to the right, but pointing off to the left is a single symbol. It's kind of a zigzag with three lines running through it, and <gasps> pointing to the path to the left. So the right path was the one with the up and down nice. lanes, and then a symbol pointing off to the left that's like a zigzag with three lines through it. I've seen this before. What is this? What is it? God. It wasn't like the one of the cobalt symbols, was it? Would Orba know what this is? Give me a religion check. Oh, it's like a religion. I probably oh, Chris. Oh. Oh, ten. Ten. It rings familiar, but difficult to. Uh, Raven. Do I know? Do I know what this? Is? <laughs> um, can, can I take a stab, giving what I have in my hand here? Sure. It, what What's the symbol for Heptacta? Jogs your memory a little bit. <laughs> that. Oh. Did so that would be. Raven. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that? One? The ruined temple of Heptactor is another one on the worth it shit list. It seems we have to make a decision. Oh no. Read the loots well, and the, what's the potential. So, uh, yeah, let's compare. I won't go through the identifiers since we know no, roughly no. where it is. You potential don't. threats include golems and stone warriors. Very okay. bad. Yeah. And potential spoils include uh, valuable relics, spell scrolls, and gemstone. Oh, that could be nice for you, over. And what are your spoils? Uh, okay, so my enemies are. We've got bandits, yes. guard dogs, uh, carmadons, and potential spoils. Whatever items the band, well, this is a specific. Uh, potentially armor, weapons, possibly magic items. His loot sounds better, but your enemies sound worse. Am I totally wrong in thinking that we've we've already done this now? I, I, Am I, I crazy? suppose. Well, that wasn't in the lanes. The description lanes. of the terrain is definitely different uh, okay. than what you've been through. Right. Yeah. Again, like it, that may or may not be the same like group of bandits. Whether you're, but yeah, certainly the yeah patches, certainly the description yeah. of the of the physical place does not sound like where you guys were. Um. Well, what do you think? Would you rather have the spell scrolls and the magic items, or what would you rather have? Spell, spell scrolls, scrolls was and one. magic. Oh, items. sorry, it was, it was the gemstones and gemstones the spell scrolls, scrolls with the heptactor. Yeah, definitely. Um. Well, what are we? Let's not be greedy. What are we more suited for today? What's with a go what's what, what golems and stone warriors? What can we expect? Golems and stone warriors would be very oh, dangerous. Would today. I have any sense of whether or not a stone warrior would be able to deflect my like arrows or something? Uh, like certainly, some types of element like stone elemental creatures can be resistant to certain like physical attacks. They can be. Yes, it's possible. Um, well, I'm a bit worried, if I'm honest, about the stone elementals because I don't know how well my um, bow and arrow is going to work against those, so... We probably have thinned the ranks of the bandits a little bit. I was going to say, if I we've thinned hope. the ranks of the bandits at all, which I would really hope we have, then potentially the less nasty version of this is going to the outpost. And if this happens today, before I'm able to fully rest, I can perhaps cast a single additional spell today. Okay. Well, okay. It's bad, yes. <laughs> There's still a decent bit of day left. It's probably like right. 4.30, 5 o'clock. So, yeah, I, I don't, I mean, I, 
I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there, but are we willing to take a longer rest before we engage? I mean, I'm willing to do that. I don't know if we could are. always just scout, scout or it. just check it out and then rest. I, I think that's far away. potentially the wisest choice. Yeah. We could also, if we if we scout for a little bit and then you know rest at a safe distance before sundown, perhaps we could um, go and attack them before sunup. If we rest for yes, long enough and exactly. wake in the right. dark. Smart. In the wee hours. Yeah. Okay. So then, which one? If if we're bandits, bandits I think it's seven. bandits. Okay. Unfortunately. I suppose to the right it is. You would also be aware, simply in your sort of sometime, maybe not personal experience, but research and readings, golems and stone warriors don't necessarily sleep right. at all, right. like a lot of elementals don't. So that sort of element of surprise thing may not work on, on a creature of that kind. For what it's worth, I, in our fight with the cold light walker, I reached out to attacked her and nothing. <laughs> was, was, got nothing. So. Which attacked her is the meddling god of what? Order. 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 Not a very orderly group, are we? Uh, no. No. The right it is. I don't think we really fit into a <laughs> a meddling god lane in any sense, if that's well, what we're looking death. for. Life. We like killing stuff. We like being alive. Uh, well, those two things are actually quite opposite, aren't they? Uh, well, you could... We do a philosophical death and we like to day. live. Perhaps. Let's go right. Okay. It's like astrological signs. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm such a heptag. <laughs> oh my god. I would no, never date no, a Kanuzme. No. <laughs> but you guys diverge to the right. Everybody Not do here. perception checks, please. <laughs> perception? Because you said please. <laughs> you'll get, get, you'll get it. You'll, I'll get it. 18. Well, Natural one. 15. Whatever. Okay. Lose Natural one. Natural one. Need perception. Natural one? I'm gonna need it. Yeah. Boo you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keeping a careful, sort of easy eye on the horizon and behind you as well, just to make sure you don't get kind of snuck up on by by anything. At one point, as you're just sort of quietly marching forward, and now that you're not on horseback, it's even easier to travel sort of quietly through the woods here. You hear some very heavy footsteps that are a little alarming at first, kind of a and as you look off to your right into the woods, you see a giant elk. And these creatures are oh, no. enormous, like Give 15 or more nice. feet kind of from hoof to antler there. Oh, and it's goodness. just kind of casually walking through. You see it move between a couple of the trees and it's heavy footsteps moving. And as you guys are traveling, it's not, it looks up and kind of sees you at one point and then just kind of goes about its business. and. You get the sense that the creatures here, simply because this is largely separated from civilization, like they have a comfortability. They're not like startled by you, or it, whereas other creatures might, you know, bristle at the sight of humans or, or humanoids. That he's just kind of casually moving through the forest, and you get the sense that as you travel deeper and deeper into these woods, like these animals just are living in their environment, their habitat. They feel very, very comfortable here. Can I get, can I try to take a close look at it and see if, if I see any like deep scars or if it's wounded at all? Sure, give me kind another of... perception check. 10. 10? It doesn't, it seems in very good health. It health. seems no, no yeah. scratches, no scrapes, no limps, yeah. nothing that you the can discern at all. Yeah, antlers are healthy. And healthy. Yeah. yeah, nothing that you can see at all. As you guys continue to walk and just making sure that it doesn't kind of charge at any point, which it doesn't, it's just kind of mm, mm, ambling with heavy footsteps. Sephira feels something kind of mm. rattling against the backside of your breastplate. Oh no. It's at first a little jarring, but you quickly realize that it's your bow that's kind of. Okay, good noise or sensation. bad noise? <laughs> um, it's kind of just brimming with. Like fervor. That like. doesn't answer oh, my question. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean animal hand? God hand damn it! <laughs> Shit, maybe a new thing? I was trying to see if it was hurt so you could put it to rest. Okay. Add the monitor. No, 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 hear me out. It's a really, no, it's a, no, hear me you out. Have inspiration. Shh, it's a solid. Are you gonna use it? Wait, no, hold on. What's hold with on. the modifier? It was a solid seven. Okay. That's a natural 20! I used my inspiration! There we go! <laughs> 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 oh, what is it? 
telling me, Matt. As you feel <laughs> the vibrations, you also get kind of a chorus of like panting and sniffing curiosity <gasps> sounds of the creatures. Sort of. You're trying to make <laughs> You get this sense that the spirits are responding to this untouched atmosphere around you, this part of Auntie Suyu. There's like an excitement, like a playfulness to the spiritual energy contained within the bow. You get the sense also that now having <laughs> slain some of the bandits and the brigands whose foul presence in this area feels like it almost is spoiling the purity of these woods, the raw nature surrounding you, that the animals contained within your bow are, they're like, chomping at the bit to be utilized. They, when you transformed into your animus form, like there was just a extra like, oh, like fervor okay. that sort of came out. They, they want to be kind of brought forth for a, a noble cause, this crusade in the service of the land. They want to come out and play more often. That's the sort of sense that you get. Okay. But to do so, <laughs> you may have to continue to kind of purge the area of any, those that would seek to take advantage of the nature here. Okay. I need you to give me a nature check. And with that natural 20, I'm gonna give this to you with advantage. Yes. Give me a nature check. Oh, okay. fuck yeah. Uh, uh, 16. 16. You guys have killed five bandits. Is that right? Yeah. Two, Shitty dogs. Two on yeah, the, five. Yeah, not including the dogs. Five, God three damn, at the, two and three. Five. As you, um, <gasps> calm down. <laughs> just let the the energy of the animals sort of, you're not letting them out of the bow, but just letting them sort of freely play in your mind and in the area, sort of letting the energy of the environment feed into the energy of the bow and vice versa. Just kind of the environments playing off of each other. You get the sense that you've unlocked another something that Sarn described to you Shut back up. in the day. Oh! Um, I'm, I printed out a new one for you because I think the old one's getting a little old. No, don't. I will keep it though. Can I? See? You have <laughs> now the other ability that uh, you hadn't unlocked that Sarn described was uh, spiritual resilience, which is now you can use Animus twice <laughs> between short rests. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. So that that again that just, sick. that energy that they have they they <laughs> want to come out and, and, oh. and play and, oh. and she's 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 <laughs> blank. I was surprised I turned her over and my friends were gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we'll we'll figure out the uh, fuck. Oh nice. dang, that's so, so sick. Just having wow. the difficulty was twenty minus the number of bandits you killed, so it was fifteen was the DC on that. Oh shit. Okay. That, that was a huge nat 20. I'm glad I spent my inspiration. Okay. So just as you're walking, traveling through these woods that just something about it unlocks something, a connection between you and the weapon That's that wasn't there before. Crazy. Wow. All right, great. Use it twice in one combat. No. You can use it once in two different combats. That is the there is on there a limit, uh, 10 minutes, uh, between the last time, yeah. Uh, uh, probably not the same. Probably not the same combat. Well, it's gonna be the Very cool Nightwalker long. fight. Yeah. Kind of like I don't even think that was too much. Have a hand like on corner. my bow and mm -hmm. like, they like it here. <laughs> the what, the who? The animals, they like it here. And uh, I kind of like to kill some more of those bandits, so let's hope that there's at least someone there. They want to come out. So they so let them. Once they kill people. I was just going to say. Oh, they're screwing with the forest and the animals like it. Ah. It makes, no, I'm proud of you. I mean, I don't, yeah. Kind of to. like you thinking to. about this now too. I'm like just kind of almost absent-mindedly like stroking the bow. Where and I'm kind of I guess hearing some of those noise. Sometimes yeah. as you pet it again. Sometimes in the past you just hear sort of a like a growl or something. But as you pet it, there's like a like 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 energy pent up kind of <laughs> zoomies for lack of zoomies <laughs> zoomies oh tortoise zoomies. <laughs> She's concentrating on that for a minute. I'll lean to Orba like, the Honorable Judge Shaf Safira has sentenced them to death. <laughs> <laughs> and drink water sticks. You little bitch! Little bitch. <laughs> Guys, continue along the <laughs> A little bit further, maybe another 30, 45 minutes of walking. The small comfort of grass beneath your feet is slowly slipping away, turning to more of kind of a rocky, gravelly mixture where the plants are fighting to get through from the soil below. 
Emmett Nesbitt certainly wasn't kidding when he predicted that you'd pass by kind of remnants of other man-made structures and settlements. You've seen some just kind of crumbling features, that signpost, some other things. And right now, you see up coming up ahead of you, there's two carved stone statues that someone has sort of left out here in the woods. One of them is a woman who's kneeling with her hands clasped and she's kind of looking up to the sky in prayer. So she's sort of kneeling down on the ground looking up. And the other is a dwarven man who's sitting with his back up against the tree and he's clutching like a large book or tome to his chest kind of very tightly, almost like a sort of a keepsake of his that he's keeping very close to him. There's no writing or plaque that you can see to sort of explain the presence of these statues, but they do show very impressive craftsmanship. The braiding of the dwarven beard and the rumples on the woman's skirt as she's kneeling, they create an illusion of a very fine and soft looking thing, despite the stone medium that's sort of within it here. So the thought occurs to you that it is nice occasionally to have some of these fabrications, if for no other purpose than to serve as kind of markers of progress. You guys have been in deep forests or vast mountains where sometimes it's dizzy and you lose track of progress, how far you've been, how far you've come from. But these little man-made things, you're you know certain that you've traveled a certain distance because you haven't seen that object before. So sort of just giving you something that you can latch on to as a landmark. Are there any um, around this... Uh... Dwarven statue. Are there any um, uh, like carvings or anything referencing the heroes of the house? Give me an explanation check. Heroes of the what? <laughs> the heroes of the house. house. <laughs> that was what earlier. appeared. Um, yeah, he uh, read that on the trees uh, right before you guys were headed to the cache. Seventeen. Seventeen. You see no references to that. However, as you take a closer look, you kind of step. It's just like up, just a foot up this little sort of mound up here, and you step up and you just look at these very finely crafted statues. Beyond the lack of a like plaque, placard or anything that has any writing on it, the statues don't have any kind of base to them, and they're hyper realistic. It's incredible the craftsmanship of these statues. The artist was extremely talented when they sort of did these, and even with a little bit of, they look aged a little bit, and yet. They're not crumbling or sort of falling apart in any way. So you notice that both the dwarven man and the human woman, the detailing on their skin looks like they have like injuries. There's like nicks and scrapes and bruises, wow. sort of darkened spots on the stone. Just unbelievable attention to detail on some of these. Um, but you don't see anything that sort of references uh, that. Is Orba seeing this attention to detail as well? Uh, as we'll say, Erlen's the first one to kind of climb up there and take a look around, but you follow him up there and sort of put my hand on it to sort of indicate. Yeah, he sort you run your fingers along the beard. It's incredible, the fine detailing of the hairs that braid into each other on the dwarven beard that comes down off his chin. I was gonna reach to her belt and pull out her dagger and she's gonna stand in front of, it, it, can I stand eye to eye with either of these things? Uh, they're both below eye level. Like she's kneeling and he's sitting up against a tree. So if you kneel down, you would be at eye level with them. Okay, I'm gonna kneel to the woman praying. Sure. They look too nice. What? Or was gonna put her knife up to the woman's throat and just hold it there for a second, like look in her eyes suspiciously. Give me a perception check. Oh shit. 17. 17. Nothing happens. But there's like an odor in the air that's like a little... What? Like ammonia, like smelling salts almost. It has kind of a sort of ammonia odor to it, just oh. in the vicinity. It doesn't seem to be coming from the statue, but there's just a little, like, like as you get lower to the ground, a prevailing kind of aroma. Orba. Ah. Uh. Are you sensing something? I'll come up closer. Sure, you do so. Do you smell death, Grazer? As she points it out. Yeah. Do you think that there is any chance that these do not begin as stone? Possibly, yes. Don't we know Shit. of creatures that turn people to stone? When they say that, do I think of anything that... There are a few creatures that, you know, both... Uh, Graven and Sephira both give me, um... We'll say nature check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 13. Uh, nature, uh, four. Four. You recall some of the more famous, like popular ones, certainly like Medusa's turn to stone. Uh, basilisks can turn things to stone. 
Cockatrices can turn things to stone. Do any of... Do you smell the ammonia? Does that ring any bells for animals? Uh, marking? Some kind of marking? Like a urine? Basilisk urine? Actually, um, I have... <laughs> A basilisk I have urine. basilisk urine. Mm-hmm. You I want to sort of. I do. Yeah, yeah. I want to sort of smell the air and then like. You compare the smells. It definitely doesn't smell like the same thing. But that idea about sort of smelling the urine and looking for something like that, you give a sniff and you look down at the ground and in these little sort of brownish clumps, you sort of pick it up, and it seems to be some kind of fecal matter that has that ammonia smell coming from it. And does that scat look like anything I'd recognize? It certainly looks uh, foul, F-A-W-L, not F-A-U-L. Oh, okay, okay. Which would put cockatrice out of those three things that you said. It, that would be the one creature I, of those three. Then as soon as I see that scat, I'm gonna look up yeah. and try to see if I... <laughs> Nothing in the tree. See the sky. <laughs> well, I wanna kind of look around for any trees where I might, anything that might look like a nest or roosting place. You don't. Also, you would know this, cockatrices, while winged... Uh, don't nest like that. They don't, like, fly up in the air. Like, they can kind of float and flutter a little bit, but oh, they don't, like... they're like chickens. Yes, they are like chickens. Okay. <laughs> big, like, big ass scary chickens. chickens. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. they don't, they they wouldn't nest, like, up in the tree. Okay. How, how um, long does this... Would they nest in the ground? Can I look, can I, if I followed a trail of this poop, then would I be able to find a nest? It has diarrhea, you could... just... <laughs> <laughs> you could attempt that? Uh, would you like no, to look okay. around? I, I, I want to look at where the scat leads first. Okay. Give me a survival okay. check with advantage, because I think you have advantage on tracking I creatures. Do. Yeah, and do they. we know how long this lasts, or is yes. it permanent? This, um, tr- like true, Jesus um, Christ. true petrification so lasts until dispelled. Like if you're f- become fully so petrified. Until dispelled. So until yeah. somebody kills the thing, or, or it chooses to. Magic, no, like no. a creature that has like a basilisk or a cockatrice that turns something to stone. If the cockatrice or basilisk dies, they stay stone. You need oh. like a way to bring them back. Like, just like a dispel magic. Would dispel magic work? No, because it's not a spell. So what the fuck are you, what? You're done. <laughs> not exactly. Um, Graven, give me a history check. Aye, aye, aye. This is sort of recalling things actually yeah, from this campaign. Five. Five. Oh. Safira, you can give me one too. Uh, I, did, I, sorry, I was supposed to do a survival. That was okay. 13. 13, okay, and then give me a history check as well. 12. The only detail that you can recall is when you guys headed into the ebb woods, you passed by a huntress who had like cockatrice bones and feathers on her backpack. I don't know if you remember this. Oh. Yeah. You passed by a hunter. Erland wasn't there. The one with the head on the spikes? She was, she was, she them was putting Elatrian heads yeah. on spikes. Oh. And she mentioned something about why she hunted cockatrices specifically. Um and you are able to discern a trail of kind of feces and even here and there, some sort of dull feathers oh, leading How off. How fresh does this feces look? Um, not for super fresh, but also like it's not fully dry. It's not just like sand yeah. in your hands, okay. like you know, a day or so, maybe more, a couple days. Isn't the direction we're moving? It's a little off to the path. Like, yes, but also off the path to the right a little bit. And can you tell if there are, do they, do they travel in? Packs? Are they? They can. Do I know if they're solitary? solitary. They're usually not solitary. Okay. It's packs. Shit. Fuck. Is it worth proceed quietly? Yes. Is it? Worth I'm saying, off? do we move on and deal with our our well, bandits, here's or do the, we? Here's the problem. If we move on and we deal with the bandits, and then we get stuck dealing with the bandits while these creatures are alerted to our presence, and they decide to. I, I'm a little bit worried about passing this by and having it come to bite us literally in the arse later I, on. I understand. Well, hopefully, are they inherently dangerous, or are they, will they only attack us if we? Uh, if yeah, we are they an them? attack? They're pretty. They, or, they or won't they're... go way out of their way, but they're pretty bad tempered. If if you get like too close to one, like even a little bit too close, they'll they'll go at you. If I mean, look at these two. Take they the don't chances. look like they were in. There in the throes of battle, they look like they were. But if it's moving not exactly where we're going, should we not try and quietly pass by and hope that uh, I don't we think, can make some ground on them? I don't think this time, mate, I think we've got to make a decision. If I mean, we can try to pass through and hope that they do not come after us, 
but that's taking a risk because we don't know exactly where they are. We don't know if they're going to hear us, and if they hear us and they feel like their nest is threatened or whatever, they, they'll come attack. So we can either wait here, rest up, stalk them then, or we can go ahead and stalk them now, try to kill them, uh, hopefully succeed, and then we take a rest and scout our way through this other situation. So we've got to make a decision. I think we should move quietly, and if we encounter them, then we attack them. If we don't encounter them, consider it a boon that we've passed them, perhaps. Oh, well, consider it a boon until we until make they... enough of a ruckus to... We'll be, but in theory, we're... Do I get a sense of my Bo's opinion on this? Like, if we were to just walk out and, <laughs> yeah, like, so... kill some animals that are native to the forest, would that bother them? Um, you haven't gotten that sense, especially, um... You would also know this. Like, cockatrices are monstrosities, less okay, so than okay, beasts, okay. which doesn't mean they're not nature, but, like, they... Hostile creatures in general sort of threaten to upend the balance of nature sometimes. I mean, you definitely don't get the impression that they would punish I you for doing it. I apparently have advantage no. <laughs> then on recalling information about them. Yes. So can I recall anything else specific about their battle strategies? I, you can give me an advantage on that history check. You can re give me just the second oh, roll. You had rolled roll. it. You have okay. got like a 12 I, I changed my mind on the dice I'm using. Because <laughs> that matters. It does actually matter. <laughs> uh, you said history? Mm -hmm. That is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Something that you, as you just think harder and yeah. reach back as best you can. In addition to the hunter that you remembered, also just from traveling through the uh, mines with Wangami when you guys passed by that basilisk. Oh my time. gosh. Both basilisks and cockatrices, their glands that secrete the sort of stuff that can infect you and turn you to stone, if properly handled, can also be an antidote. So you can literally like harvest cockatrice or um, basilisk glands, create an antidote, and use that instead of okay. uh, the other way to get rid of petrification is usually with like a greater restoration and healing spell, which is a powerful spell. Can I see what kind of book this guy's holding? Which mm -hmm. book this guy's holding? You cannot. He's clutching it cl close to his chest, and it seems like the cover is you know against his chest. So you, there's no writing on it at all. Is it real big? Say. Is it real big? It's a thick tome. So we could perhaps attack these cockatrices. Sorry, you just learned something. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're thinking very <laughs> well by yeah. She's got something, I know it. You can tell that from my face. Yes, you looked like you were concentrating very oh, hard. Man, I need to stop doing that. Okay, um, uh, yeah, well, basically, if we needed to, we could make an antidote for this stone thing. If we wanted to bring these two back, not, you know, uh, that it's particularly high on the to-do list, might be nice for them. Uh, we when you say we could make an antidote... We could make an antidote... Well, you mean we have to find and kill these things. Oh yeah, we definitely have to kill them first, so they're not usually amenable to having their glands extracted. Let's do it! I suppose the, my, my vote in favor of this would be, these are not well-traveled paths. These people do not look like adventurers, travelers. They are... Could they perhaps be related to the Shade Assembly? Or I don't I'm know. I'm pretty insane that these are not. Like, the average town person or scholar wouldn't be like, Walking around up here like this, is not unlikely. in between two settlements. Really. Uh, yes, unlikely. Really. I mean, could be powerful allies. You're also pretty close to the shore. I mean, there's shipwrecks. You already have met a couple of people that. Are, I mean, there's possible reasons for a regular Windows. person yeah. to have been thrown into, thrust into this situation. Mm -hmm. But you know, Look, your hunch is not no. wrong in that the people who choose to travel through here are usually not just like your average commoner. And she's or, praying, right? Sorry, so sorry. She's, she's kneeling and praying, praying, and the other guy's clutching, clutching the book, leaning up or, against the tree. You know, they're just people, and they could use some assistance. Yes, that's true as well. Although it's ultimately up to you if we want to. Is this a sight thing? Is looking at the the basilisks turning into stone? Is, is a sight? it? Do I know if it's no, a sight basilisks um, is can petrify with they their knees. Sorry, Co cockatrices have to physically okay. hit you with like their. So I was wondering so if the my moon party would not help. No, that would not help. So we attack it from afar, then? Uh, well, yeah. It. You keep saying it. There might be several. There might be more. We attack them We should be prepared. I mean, also, a single, you guys would know this, a single cockatrice is not a difficult fight. Like, they're oversized, nasty chickens, chickens but, like, a single one would be a, a breeze for you guys. The, mm. the threat is if there's, like, you know, a pack of them, like a lot of them. Well, I, I think, frankly, I think that we can take them. 
I think that we should try to track where the nest is. Try to track and um, see how many there are. If we can kill just one, if we can isolate one, I'm saying if we don't even isolate, find, if we yes. isolate one and, and kill it, then we can get it. Well, I mean, the, 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 the let's do it. The training right. in me says I would like to try to kill them all before we move on to the next thing. But whatever we want to do, if we want Either to try way, to pick one off. Sounds like we are in this. Looking in the distance, we don't see anything resembling these stairs, do we? Like, not yet. Not you've, seen, you've seen no man-made structures Great. besides these statues since you took that right. I want to. I'm looking at the ground. I'm following. This. <laughs> Cockatrice made. <laughs> I'm following this scat nice trail, little... <laughs> and I want to make right. sure uh, that we're moving uh, like as stealthily as we can. Okay. I, I, I suppose I can. Everybody, give me stealth. Down. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Does, do I get it with an advantage? Or? Not when you're traveling with your group. Okay. Sixteen. Fifteen. Huh? Do I look? I know I can't see. It's obscured. Should I look at it, or should I just roll another one? Roll another one. No, that's not fair. <laughs> Looked at it. Aww. Now you oh, have now to take it. Why did you say anything? <laughs> you jag, man. What was it? 21. 21. What is it? The group, it's a nine. Group stealth. I think it's a nine. It. It's a nine. <clears throat> Cock. With that's everybody that's doing their best and following Saphira's lead across the terrain here. And now that you're distinctly looking for it, the scattered trail of feathers and feces a lot of sort of deviates off of the path oh. to the right. A little is consistent the poo starting pattern. to look fresher? Um. <laughs> It's hard to tell. How's this poop <laughs> smelling to me? <laughs> I'm one of those nature guys that's picking it up. This is a day old. Yeah, three <laughs> hours, 42 minutes. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> and at first, the kind of rocky terrain made little in the way of imprints. So you're not seeing tracks, you're seeing like feces and feathers. But when you shift just a couple minutes kind of further to the right, further inland, the um, you start to see grassy terrain and three-pronged tracks. So okay. now you're literally seeing like Shit. footprints of cockroaches. And how things. many uh, pairs? I, I they only have two little feetsies, right? Yep. Give me a survival check. Okay. Can we help her? Is that with advantage? Uh, with the help, it's action, tracking yeah. a favorite it, enemy and it's in favorite terrain. Yes, and they're helping you too. You can do it with advantage. Also, so. uh, for sorry, survival. Yes. 23. Great. Nice. As you move further along, it becomes more and more obvious that certainly what you, your hunch, there it was not a single creature. You're seeing overlapping kind of three-pronged footprints. And as you get further and further off the path, they become greater and greater in number. Like okay. some moving in different directions. Like it seems like they how, kind of how frequent this I... area. It could be a few that are kind of running around, but at least half a dozen, maybe oh. more than oh, that. Geez. Okay. And am I noticing, uh, like, when I see the pattern, is it like a frantic, like, something happened here kind of pattern? Or is no, it, like... it looks more like they kind of run back and forth along in, the, in this area frequently. Adorable. Okay. Um, no. Are they, When I look around this area, are there any, uh, like, vantage points, like, high points, like, strategic areas where we can stage a fight now well, that we're getting closer? What you see as you follow the footprints kind of further is maybe a hundred feet away from where you are at the point, the prints take you back to this, what looks like kind of a rocky archway, again, sort of a hundred feet away, that otherwise looks very well concealed by some of the surrounding trees. Like if you weren't following the tracks, you wouldn't have seen it. So it looks like there's like a cliff face, but there's an opening, like a little rocky archway opening okay. that if you got up to, you can kind of peer into that. It looks like where those tracks are headed into. Mm-hmm. The okay. Part. And that looks like a place where we could potentially take cover and Possibly. You haven't seen the interior of it, okay. but possibly, yeah. Um, I'm going to kind of motion to the group. Quiet now. We have to be very quiet. Did, We're sorry, getting closer. Remember what Basilisk Gearin does specifically? That bas- the, That's what Praxis gave you, and that's used for, like, warding animals off. Like, if you're resting in a cave or something, you smear it kind of on the rock. If I, like, threw Basilisk Gearin in front of me, would that make them like, ah, fuck, I don't want to be near this, or would it? Mm. If they saw you throw it, they they might... Like they're smart enough to be like, that's not a basilisk. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's, it's that they like, think it's a basilisk. Yes. It's not the smell itself. No, no, no. Oh, it's okay. that they it's smell it and they're like, oh shit, there's a no, basilisk. basilisk. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. So we, even if we, yeah, if we get to the arch and smear it inside the arch, they're probably not going to come through. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might keep them from. Um. Can I kind of pull away from the group a little bit to go and look just at through the archway? I'm just going to hold here. hold back. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of sneak up as quietly as I can. So there's quite a bit of kind of foliage and branches yeah. that are blocking your sight lines as you approach the arch, but you don't even need to have clear vision to start to hear the growing mixture of 
<laughs> Sounds of like coos and little clucking noises. As you hear, and as you, you pick up on one, no. yes! <laughs> like a number of them okay. that you can hear. Now that you're getting I'm closer close. and closer. Do yep. I have a stronger sense of the number? You said about a dozen. Give me a perception check. I'm literally bombs? just picturing 20 Kevins from up right now. Oh my god. Perception. 11. Yeah, 11. So as as you also get closer, you hear some sounds of light splashing as well. It okay. sounds like maybe they're, they've are they made a home or a nest oh. near like a watering hole or something like that, of or like course. a small pond or something. And I'm gonna say, uh, give me a stealth check with advantage. And you might be able to peer in here. It would take so oh. long. Now it's here. With advantage? That's yep. It's uh, 100% cock, that, that one. The, yeah, the brown was so cock. Yes. good. That's even, even better. better. That's a natural twenty. Natural twenty, great. So you're able to sneak <laughs> kind of up a little bit closer. And if I was able to, see that. shall we turn on our monitor? Not yet. No. Oh, oh, you oh. dare! <laughs> the oil slipperiness is a very funny idea. How much? How much square footage does some, it cover? It takes a minute. Doesn't no, it? no, 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 no. Uh, it can be poured on the ground as an action. Oh. It takes six oh. seconds. How big is a space? Ten feet square. How big, how big is that archway? Yeah, I wonder how big it is. Because you can just get a bunch of furs tripping over my mace, like. Getting first level spell slots back. Wild. Oh my god. Oh, You've got all the chances in the world with that team. I think it might be a little bad. I'm going to just bring up the. Oh no. What's wrong? The, I think the battery's dying on me. Mm. On what? The battery's dying on, on my the, candy. My Ah. I'm, no, on my uh, keyboard. Oh, oh geez, what the hell do we have that's on batteries? My phone oh, is dying. Okay, now you can turn your monitor. Oh. 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 Do you need a battery? I won't need it for now. Oh, okay. okay. A battery. Oh, shit. So, this is oh, the kind geez. of archway <clears throat> that you are peering through. It's not, it's not water out here. This is where you guys are on, on this side. So, you're peering into where there's like a little watering hole oh, in here. Oh, this is cute. And this is where you're hearing some of that noise coming from. As you get closer to the entrance of this sort of watering hole area, there might be 15, maybe wow. more. Like, okay. you're hearing that much noise coming from within. Okay. Yeah, there's like 20, 25 of these fuckers. Okay. I mean, if we can each kill one with a... That's so many, guys. I know. A single cockatrice, again, not much of a threat. It's just sort of when you get overwhelmed, but that's what you hear. And you can you can sneak kind of back in the direction of the party to relay the information. If you're okay, I'm going to sneak back in the way of the party and... Uh... Relay the information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So here's what we're looking at. Probably between 15 and 25 of them. It's a lot. They're in sort of a centralized area, which is good. There's a watering hole, so if we can do something that maybe attacks a bunch in an area and disorients them, we can either do that, or we can try to create some sort of a trap in the doorway here, this sort of archway, uh, and maybe potentially just try to lure one out. I don't know. They're stupid, but I don't think 15 in a row are going to come out the way that... Well, if there's well, only one, I, we could perhaps put uh, the... the, the oil of slipperiness down, that would force them to would force them to have to make a dexterity saving. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very slow. Um, uh, yeah, the it's the grease spell, so they'd have to make a dex save or fall prone. I also have um, uh, the capability of, of making it extremely dark where ever we choose. Do really? they have dark vision, these animals? They do. Not even... Darker than dark vision. Yeah, the, magical the magical darkness, darkness spell um, overruled. Or... If if Ooh. they were to start seeing their comrades like trip and fall on something, I could cast darkness and maybe they'll just you know panic and run straight through it. As much as Erland might be useless for this idea, are there any vantages in there that we could climb up on top and attack from above? I don't mm -hmm. believe that they'd be able. They wouldn't be very good at getting up to us, and I don't think they'd be able to attack us at range. It's not a bad idea. Why don't I try to climb? Make it looks like zone. quite a climb. Not impossible, but it like when you peered in here, this place is like almost enclosed. It's like almost okay. a dome. Like the mm. cliffs kind of curl over. Can so I, one climber's kit. Can I take a look and like 
I don't know. Can I can I start sort of slowly and stealthily making my way up there just to see? Like starting to climb? Yeah. Give me an athletics check. It's yeah. if you zoom out, like what are we looking at? Yeah. Um, so you guys are seeing. Um, no, I, th- I think we're. I think we're no, good. for me. Oh, for you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's not all about you, Matt. Not for you. Um, so yeah, I mean, you guys are peering in. Like th- this isn't. This wall goes yeah. up higher, so you're climbing yeah, like, like f- up this yeah, wall here. Much steeper. Yeah, so it's pretty steep. Fourteen. Fourteen. So you get a little ways up, and then you get to a point where it, the rocks are just so smooth that maybe with a climber's kit, but not just by yourself, sort of manually moving up the side. I'm gonna kind of cl- come my way back down then and. Look, we can do this, but it's gonna be a difficult climb. We're gonna need a kit. That'll make so much noise that they'll probably be alerted and come out here. And we don't want them to attack us when we're on the side of a sheer wall. So, I think our best bet... Is there a spot in there that we could sneak to to have a good... In where, the archway? In... Once you go past inside there, are there any structures? Lots of trees and stuff inside. I mean, there's things to hide behind. Look, there's plenty of cover there. It's a nice sort of little watering hole. I I think if we're gonna do this, if we're going to initiate a combat with them, we have to be prepared to get rid of all of them. I can, I've used okay, all then, of my then, energies then when it comes to a, an in area that case, spell. Then we need to rest first. How wide is the um, archway? The archway itself is Please. like twenty feet wide. Yeah, well that's part of the rock, so from here to here, yeah, like 20 feet wide. However, this kind of shrubbery and stuff, I mean, this creates a little funnel here that's 10 to 15, this between these trees here. Looking ahead towards the archway, it looks like they only have 10 to 15 feet to get through, which means that only two of them could get through that area if we're blocking it. I was gonna say, probably the best way to deal with this is to stay on the opposite side of this archway that way we can at least control how many of them can attack us at once. Exactly, if there are, if there are two of us standing right at the front, that We per- think we can lure them. I, that do you know how to lure a cockatrice? Do I know how to lure a cockatrice? Make some mm. noise. I mean, they'll they'll respond to threats, um, we, or you know, if you can hit one for like harm. If or... we put down the oil of slipperiness, and then stand right there, or, or a few feet back, does that, do you think that oil is flammable? I don't know. Does it uh, read the text on it? It's a it's sticky black, unguent. <laughs> unguent <laughs> is thick and heavy in the container. But it flows quickly wow. when poured. The oil can cover a medium or smaller creature, along with the equipment it's wearing and carrying. One additional vial is required for each size category above medium. Applying the oil takes 10 minutes. The affected creature then gains oh, the effects of freedom of movement spell for eight hours. Alternate, alternatively, the oil can be poured on the ground as an action where it covers 10 foot square, duplicating the effect of the grease spell in that area. For yeah, so I have the grease spell up. It doesn't say anything about it being flammable. It's it's more like yeah. a slick, slick, Damn. slippery substance, not a flammable substance. Well. FSH Schmo just raided us. Hello, welcome. Hey, welcome. Oh, damn. Hey. Planning the great cockatrice heist of 2023. Make some fried chicken. So Um, if we lay it down, they'll have to, uh, they'll have to try and successfully pass through a slippery area, and we can hopefully pick them off with arrows and spells, and I'll be near you in case they get through. I could, I could use a 15 cone, 15 foot area of fire. That that would be the last time, and I wouldn't be able to heal after that. Mm. That's not very good I at all. Think maybe save that. We use this greasy stuff and try and uh, pick them off. And pick them off one by one. Don't you think? We can do it well, as long as we control the number that are attacking us at once. There shouldn't be a problem. The problem will be if the floodgates open. So we just have to keep. And that we from stay happening. close together so that we don't get overwhelmed. We don't get surrounded. Well, I'm going to stand back uh, because yeah. I need to. Yes, we, we all should stay, stand back. We stay you should stay up at the front. A uh, little. No, we should. No, we should, all three of you are, are, are sending magic. Yes. What are I'm you doing? Not, not standing near you. He shouldn't be alone. All right. And I'll stand perhaps directly in front of you so that if they do engage, they're hitting me first. And I like right. that. Yeah, you're, like, you're our bodyguard. Like five feet, ten feet in front of you only so that if I do right. go down, I'm within... So are we doing this now? Should I heal? Yeah. Should I heal? Should I take a healing potion now so that I can be a... If you're planning on standing at the front, mate. No. No? All right. All right, I'm gonna apply the slippery Can you take more than one bite? Two, three, 
How do much I have do they any bite? idea how damaging <laughs> these creatures are or no? I don't know that you have like a yeah. number. No. I mean, their bites are not if as bad I'm as I'm feeling like, half as the, good as I normally do. Uh, the, oh, then, the thing is, I mean, less, like the bite itself, like not. It's, it's the not fucking fatal. turning into stone. Yeah, that's the bite what I was itself going to say. is brutally. You know. I think if you get bit, the, the bigger concern is going to be do turning we into stone. So. Know how to make t that like antidote? If we have the stuff, will we have? You do. The the tincture that? itself is pretty simple. It takes a little time to sort of mix together. The risk is that you can fail to make a successful tincture, in which case you need to harvest more glands. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the more you kill and more glands, the better odds you'd have of I making one successful. I think if we stand as far, similar to the Girolong fight, I think we stand back as far as possible and keep moving back if they keep flowing out. Okay, I, right. the problem with that being that we need to make sure we keep the entrance as small as we possibly Well, the entrance can. is going to stay slippery. In, a, in order for any of them to get through, they're going to have to Let's skillfully... Let's lay this... Let Erland, you and I... I think you should, just you, by yourself, stealthily, quietly. Yeah, I think you should go do that. I'll and take fire an arrow from as far away as you can and then run and then back run. to us. Okay. Unless someone's very close to you. I'm going to take the oil of slipperiness carefully. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And, <laughs> oh, so careful. And I'm gonna sort of creep forward as quietly as I can. Give me a stealth check with advantage. Is that also plus three still? Excellent. No, not for stealth. No, yeah, it's just wisdom and intelligence checks. So as you creep forward, <laughs> get closer and closer, and as you're getting there, you have the sort of bottle with you and you're hearing once again, so I want to carefully right. spread it so that it covers the entire sort of entryway. It's ten foot here. square, so great. So you pour it out in that yeah. sort of area between those two trees as best you can, getting as much of that area covered as possible without spreading it too thin and not making it as slick as it possibly could be. Okay. At one point, while you're pouring it around, you hear kind of a. Yeah. And poking out from oh. a tree oh, oh. just a little bit further. I'm freezing. I'm just standing perfectly still. Give me a stealth check. <sighs> ah! No, not with advantage. No. God damn it. That's a dirty 20. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You see it kind of yeah! Moving by, sort of one As jittery it's step at a time. By now, you're yeah. just finishing kind up for Kind of quietly yeah. knocking my bow. Give me an attack roll, it's with advantage. Oh. Unseen attack right here. Yes! This is very sick. Oh my god! That sucks. It's fine, they probably don't have a great armor class. That's true, actually. They're not wearing 17 plate 17 should do it. Uh, it's 18, isn't it? No, it's, no, it's 17. 17. <laughs> 17. Plus 10, minus 1! That will yeah, hit, roll for yeah, damage. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, y'all fucking math wizards over here. <laughs> <laughs> All you math wizards knowing how to do 8 plus 9. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking fuck off. All right, I'm good at other things. Six. Six. So, as the arrow connects with the sort of rump, the hind side of the cockatrice, you hear, Bow! as soon as it gets hit, and after so that initial bad, sound, that Bow! you hear, Run. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this of flapping of feathers. No. Run! Okay, I'm running. I'm Some of them coming back. down from the cliffs and the like, shelves below. There's you hear, many. you hear the water like flames <laughs> <laughs> in the water as all of these beaks come out <laughs> and all of them like light stampeding. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna. <laughs> This is a terrible idea. Oh. I'm so excited. We're gonna have survived the cold light walker, TPK to a bunch of fucking so chickens. <laughs> so, as they stampede out of this little watering hole in the direction of the beer, they're all kind of coming out. Oh no! All heading in this direction oh toward god. that sort of archway. Oh my god. All moving oh, down. Matt, if you need us what? to record some yeah. audio of a bunch of cockatrices, please just let us know. <laughs> so <we're playing laughs> overlap the second I'm play. Um, and that is where so, we're going. Oh my god. god. Read me the grease spell like it's, one more time. Uh, I got it right here. Um, 10 foot square, one minute. Um, Comes difficult terrain. Count, yeah. 10 foot square, so blah, 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 difficult terrain. Well, when the grease appears, each creature standing in its area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or fall prone. 
-hmm. A creature that enters the area or ends its turn there must also succeed on a saving dexterity saving throw. A death save. <laughs> 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 yeah. So anytime you start Imagine. there or it enter also, there, like, you can slip and <laughs> so. Yeah, so it's eight hours, not one minute. <laughs> Eight hours. The grease spell is only one minute. This is eight hours. That's so Great. fucking awesome. funny. So Stop. the thing is, is how dexterous are these? And are they all just going to like run right through it? And we're going to be like, oh, shit. Just like kicking up grease. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, and we're like, ah! they're probably reasonably dexterous, but they're also chickens. What's the DC? Look at all the chickens. Yeah, Look so. What's the DC? Chicken. Yeah. Someone uh, kindly in the chat said like that they each have 27 of... HP. I don't know if that's accurate. Yeah. That's going to fuck with it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's fine. Oh, you're not supposed to look that up. <laughs> well, I didn't. It's not going to be the same, man. Uh, it's not going to be the same fucking thing. Uh, actually, I, mean, I think it's, I think it's going to be uh, Safira's saving throw because she's she the one who spread it. Oh, no. yeah. oh shit. We'll, we'll look into that. It doesn't actually say it's, that would be weird that the person who spreads it. Yeah. We might have a role to determine how well throw? you sort of okay. uh, uh, spread it. Oh, okay. Um, and it might, yeah, I'll give, I'll, I'll adjust the DC based on how well you were able to spread the oil. Oh my god. Um, it is, you are spreading it out on, you know, soil, so it's not as good as spreading it on like a, a slick, like tile or stone or something. Yeah. So it, that doesn't mean it's not effective, but Dude. less, okay. less Should've of it. Or decorate it first, guys. We put down a. Put down some linoleum. Or yeah, something. we didn't get the feng shui right. That's really the problem with this combat. So uh, when we come back oh, next no. time, oh. we will be. Do we know that if every bite it can turn you to stone, or if that's like a special thing? Like, is um, it? It, it, it seems it's like the, the glands kind of in their mouth that they that. secrete. Yeah. They can. That's yeah. very bad. Yeah. Well, if we is. have the, uh, presumably that takes like, do we know how long that takes? To it takes a little bit of time for the petrification to set in. It's not shit, so you can like. <laughs> shit, guys! Shit! <laughs> You're like, we did it. Yeah. Honestly, we just have to make sure at least two of us do not get frozen. So, we'll I would honest. like it if none of us got frozen. Me too. Let's make it that. Let's do that. Uh, so that is where we'll pick it up next Should time. Should we roll initiative now? No. 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 All right. Fine. Uh, no planning based on. Uh, Damn it. Oh, that's true. Ooh. Let's do some shout outs here. Uh, yeah. Jack Grove Power gave a 20 community. Oh, oh thank you. So thank you. Much. Yeah. And then they did Get 5,000 fairy burritos. That's <laughs> some Jack Grove. Broken Dragon Scale did 500 bits. Alley Slayer did 100 bits. And then another 100 bits. Broken Dragon Scale did 1,000 bits. Jack Grove Power gave a 20 more community. So that was What? FSH Schmo waited us alone. Welcome. Thank you very much. Ooh. Mr. You Gold gave out 100 bits. Oh, oh bits. so sorry about your brother. Uh, two full games. Gave out ten community subs. Oh, thank you, so thank much. you. Oh my so gosh. Jack Rover Power is putting the getting on crazy looks. He's yeah. putting oh, them to the screen. Coming yeah. in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. It, it means you. the world to us. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back with the great cockatrice battle that is about to ensue. Oh. Uh, now that you've lured oh them out, God. I need to extend this map out a little bit. Oh my uh, God! Rather than sneak in and try and grab one. Can you let Can you let Jordan make it? Make the map. Yeah. Oh, Sometimes you oh. gotta make maps. There's a there's a pit of spikes right at the end. Yeah. There's a really yeah. tall pillar that we're standing on that they, yeah, yeah, they can't like climb a boat it. with spikes on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't notice it before, but yeah. now that we're here, it suddenly. Sophia's survival skills are so good. She's like, you know what? Like, we're standing on a thing. <laughs> <laughs> she, can, she can manifest it. Oh, and just a pillar appears. So with some new oh animus bow skills, oh. some yes. uh, some potentially in the of Man, that inspiration from Fred coming in really clutch. There you go. Mm -hmm. Because thanks, Fred. I didn't. Fred, uh, I, was, I didn't Fred think we were going to necessarily get that on the first attempt there. Yeah, well, I didn't. I got it on the second attempt. Well, I mean, uh, this uh, episode. Go ahead and join us in the Discord after yes, the show. Pokedoko's throwing in a link, uh, not a link, uh, a thread of just this episode, so you it's can talk. Made. No spoilers. Oh. Worried. Uh, you can just be be yourselves. There it is. <laughs> oh, there hey. it is. It's right there. So go ahead and go meet us there. If you awesome. don't want spoilers, don't go into that. Don't thread. do it. But if you're here right now, go probably into that watch thread. most of it. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a wonderful <laughs> night. Have a wonderful week. We'll be here next week. Yeah. We'll see you there. <laughs> Have a great one, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support. So long. Thank you. Bye.